Echo. Hello. USB events. I'm going to put on my motorcycle gear. I'll be right back. There we go. Hello. Yep, got that mic going. USB events. I'm going to put on my motorcycle gear. I'm going to put on my motorcycle gear. Now the feedback loops. I'm muted, so I won't. No, 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 unmute. It's going to be great. No, because I hate that sound. Okay, okay we'll just I use. I love that sound. Uh, just tested it really. Again, make someone turn on. Oh. It's up. Someone snapped by the. What about that? All right, that works. <sighs> All right, that was embarrassing. But oh, the best of us, believe me. I've done a whole stream like that. But we caught it in the beginning, instead of, you know. <laughs> right, that, that, as we're closing up shop. Yeah, it, it would be pretty awkward. It's like, thanks for joining us, everyone. Uh, this has been a nice three up. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> a nice three hour session. I'm going to get ready to edit. Oh, yeah. oh boy. Well, anyway, let's, let's redo everything. Yes. <sighs> Got all of these stumbles. Welcome to the third episode of And Dice and Demons. This is the second fucking time I'm saying this. I am your constant DM here, Max K, and it is my duty, right, and more importantly, my privilege to murderize these dumb schmucks in any way I see fit and can come up with. And I'm very creative. I am joined, as always, by... Kieran. Ken. Crafty Andy. Nash. <sighs> that's... That's great. <laughs> I'm, I'm still laughing about the fact that audio was fucked. So, another recap of where we last left off. Did you edit that? Did it, did it, oh, by the way, part the goose, this, um, did we take the goose back with us to have a Christmas vacation with it? Or not Christmas no, vacation, it's like Christmas story. Death. Death. So, you know, you know the Charlie Brown noises that the parents make because you're not supposed to understand it. I just imagine him taking the silent part of it going over with that. <laughs> when we last left our group of morons, you, we have been introduced to the Order of the Sunlight Clerics, who, through an event of I scratch your back, you scratch my back, asked all of you to look into the local Warforged caravan, only to find that the head of the Warforged caravan had lost head, in a literal and metaphorical and figurative and poetic and every other fucking fancy way. Ironic. Walking in the office. So no head. <laughs> At least he wasn't getting head while he lost his head. Thank you. I mean, you know. I mean, could have. What are you looking at? I'm just looking at the input over there. It's fine, Andy. It's fine. Okay, I'm gonna say use the noise gate because we're gonna echo. It's we'll 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 work on it. Yeah. I mean I could just What are you doing? Stop that. I'm just trying to roll the magnets for There we go. I got it. 
and shit. Yep, it's in there. They don't have a keyboard though. Hmm. Okay, that'll probably have fixed it. Anyway. So now, after dealing with a nasty, gigantic asshole, which if you've ever met a goose, you know exactly what I'm talking about. <laughs> you have returned to your camp waiting for word from the Warforged caravan as to what to do next and who to fight next after all sorts of creative things. And after all of that, since I have now explained everything twice, this is now going to bug me. Oh, oh, oh it's slowly drooping. It needs Viagra quick. <laughs> I hate no, this. That's so why I turn it to the side. Uh, it needs go. Viagra the quicker you know, picker this around here. Here, let's just, let's just do it like this. That's It'll be fine. <laughs> there. It, <laughs> it's fine. We'll fix it in post. <laughs> I said that. That when I we'll fix that. it in post. No. Aww. But that's Callie's slogan. No, it's Viagra's slogan. No, now. it's not. Especially Before we get DMCA time. struck, <laughs> let's begin tonight's adventure for the second fucking time. <sighs> Lose all of your inspiration and take five points of lethal damage. I don't even have them. As you sleep, Chris, pay attention. I no. am. No. But Stop. It's still drooping. It's not. <sighs> I will tighten. Oh, you got it. Okay. This is the last time we're doing this. And after this, it gets fixed in post. And if that's a problem, I don't care. <laughs> Fucking mic stand from hell. The mic stand is now the goose, guys. As you sleep, Chris, <laughs> shut the fuck up. As you are sleeping, you fade into a f what appears to be a field. Great plains surround you, windswept. Like you can act. It's like a scene out of a movie where a wind passes over, and what you think and can only assume is grass, because you've never really quite seen so much grass just sweeps across the plains silvery bright and alive the it's cool it's pleasant it's actually refreshing and nowhere near the heat and ferocity of the desert in the distance you see what you can only assume to be great old forests steaming with what appears to be mist of some sort and you hear in the farther distance, the crash of water somehow, even though there shouldn't be that much water on land. Above, you see gentle birds. Gentle as in small, non-threatening, no hawks or vultures, but things you've only ever heard about in tales and in pictures. You are surrounded by all of this, and you don't quite understand, yet you feel the grass beneath your feet and it feels it feels wonderful it feels alive and bright god damn it i'm dead huh? you're very much alive my friend and as you look around you also notice you're back in humanoid form somehow the thing in your chest whatever the fuck it is is gone you don't quite feel sore from the day before or the day at all you feel actually pretty happy and healthy i'm going to transform into my my uh my more natural form then into my feral form which i left upstairs when you say natural form you mean like your human feral my i'm going to say like the more natural form is going to be my show that works is going to be my, that's the disguise form no one suspects it's the random dog. Form, but for me, like, if I'm going to be in a grassy field and stuff, I'm going to run around like a dumb wolf, oh. just happy, chasing butterflies. You're, you're walking around and, or walking, you're prancing. Prancing. <laughs> prancing around. It, it feels natural. It doesn't feel 
foreign in the slightest. It's just, shut the fuck up. <laughs> and you, you almost forget for a moment all the shit that's happened, all of the wars, all of the combat. It just, you're running through nature without a care in the world. I heard the meatloaf. Big open area, nothing to kill you. One of two things. It's either an imminent boss room or a save point. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I said, I, God damn it, I died. I finally fucking died. Fuck. Why are there a bunch of these chest high walls? Well, you obviously realize you're not dead. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, um, well, uh, basically because, you know, is there butterflies as well? Can I chase the butterflies? They're, they're off in the distance. You can see them, but they're not exactly. They're not exactly within dis within reach, and as soon as you start even getting close, they flutter away. Okay. You don't want me and Creedence for you. You don't pull wings off of flattening. And to I'm gonna go towards the the butterflies, which will probably be means the forest, the, the forbidden forest. Sure. As you do, you kind of feel something kind of behind you to the left mm -hmm. it's it's not really threatening but it's its presence is heavy and it's hard to ignore it so you think this is an illusion i don't want to be a dick i want to be a dick oh, i don't want to be a do. dick I'm gonna I'm gonna turn towards the presence instead of being a dick and just ignoring this. I'm gonna speak up. Yeah, my right there. Oh. I'm gonna turn towards the presence instead of being a dick and ignoring it. Okay. You you see essentially a gigantic shadowy figure. It's you've seen it before, but it's more more realized now, more defined. It's still pretty shadowy, still kind of translucent, but you can see um, more features now, like limbs and shit. Uh, 17 for initiative. It's not biting you. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was about to throw my axe at it. I was like, the two crying as well, go, fuck this shit, I'm out! Um, so oh. it, it's not threatening, okay. So, nope. uh, what is its shape? Vaguely humanoid still. It's it's still hard for you to tell, but it you you can definitely see arms and legs and it's standing on two legs. Okay. How tall is it? Really? It's fucking massive. <laughs> so I'm like e even in your um, half form, like your more in, my wolf form. in your wolf form, it is much bigger than you. Like, we're talking about 20 feet. It is fucking huge. You're, you don't, you don't, you don't feel fear of it, but you are, de you definitely feel its power. It's radiating energy. Well, I just sit and look up at it and wag my tail at this point. Because if it's going to kill me, I'm going to die instantly. It's too fucking big. <laughs> and it... Hi. I mean, I'm wagging my tail. He's like, this is pretty good, too. <laughs> yeah. And it, after a moment, it just goes, I remember. These were the ways. When they were still young. And still only rarely knew the sky. I remember. How long has it been? What happened? What happened? You, you, you get a sense it's talking to itself. You're just kind of there. Can I get a cookie? You don't have any cookies. Can I materialize a cookie? Can you what? Can you hear me? Sure, go ahead. Roll, roll me... <laughs> Roll me a will check. Just will it into existence. Uh, so, uh, what's that? Twenty-one, and I give it the sun to chew on. Um, you you try your hardest. You're you're. It's actually going. 
And all all you do is you just hear a. But I wanted to give Henry the cookie, and that was the sign. Well, that's how that's how things on uh, Ma- Max, explain to explain to the, the to the audience here, real quick, off table. No. Oh come on, it's the best. No. It's Fender. Yes. No. Nope, you already said no. Darn. They'll find out. Okay. Trust me, this is, we're we're working on this okay, shit, Chris. So anyways, um. I'm just gonna stare at it and wag my tail until it actually realizes I'm there. It's, uh, it knows you're there, but it's just kind of off in its own memories for a moment. I uh, I whimper at it. You, you, you see what you think is its head just kind of swivel down. It's again still really hard to tell, but you have a feeling now it's finally paying attention to you fully. Okay. Where have you been, pup? What has happened? I need to transform back into my cryosworm. Go ahead. Poof. Alright. I'm back in. I'm transformed. Actually, where is this camera at? Mm. There. Um, it's... That's the camera we're using right now, not that one. Oh. Whoa. Anyway. You can picture in picture, man. Um, okay, so now that I'm back in my actual fighting form, I can speak. Uh, yeah. A Karen was completely destroyed by a dark force. I... Well, a Karen was destroyed by a dark force. I was uh, mortally wounded and somehow survived. We lost, or at least we assume we lost a totem spirit, Unicorn. And, uh, yeah. About as lost as everyone else. And I'm assuming this is the Umbra, but I don't know where. Umbra, no. This is not that darkness. (laughs) I, I, I know those places, this... This is what I know, where I've been. I, I remember it all as it was, not as it is. What, what's happened? Why, why is this? Why is the world shattered? Who are you who do not know your history, pup? The times that came before. You can you can sense it's getting a little more bitter and angry, though not at, not at you, just at the situation. Who are you who don't know what happened? Who live in a world bled dry? Who are you? In my world, in my time, before the calamities that just struck us, we had peace, real peace between species and races. I was a leader of a city, a city of great ability, of pride and joy of the entire world, now gone. That proved that anyone and everyone was welcome. I don't know what past you're from. We haven't had a war like that in ages. When I say ages, I mean thousands of years. Who are you? You don't look like any form I've ever seen or ever known before. He's starting to fade now as you're saying this. I remember. What do you do? Oh. Is that the Amazon? Oh. Remember the... Quick intermission, folks. That other thing that's owned by the same company as Twitch. That's great.
Bring it here, Andy. Bring it, bring it, bring it, what? bring it here. You gonna unbox it here? I wanna make sure it's the right fucking thing I ordered. Please, please wait until just a moment, please. Yeah. So as he's beginning to fade, you you see kind of around like the peripherals of your vision, the landscape just also fading away, kind of fluttering out. I remember. Everything is gone. My children are gone. And with that, you wake up. There's no lamp above my head this time, right? <laughs> Not that you're aware of. <laughs> I wake up with a quick start and shoot up out of bed. <laughs> a what? Okay. Shoot, shoots up out of bed, like, you know. Do I take damage? <laughs> <laughs> no, but you you're you can tell like you are you're Do I smash my head on the lamp again? No, no you don't, but your heart is racing. That's what I was looking for. You're not exactly sweating because your forearm doesn't exactly sweat because dogs don't sweat. Yeah, they do. No, they don't. They don't sweat. No, they don't. Only from their uh, pop heads. Yeah. Which is yeah. basically useless. So, so don't sweat it. They lack they lack the grip glands. I will say the quicker picker upper again. It will forever be changed in mind. Anyways. Anyway, and um, you you wake up and it's it's later in the next day. It's maybe about noon ish, hottest part of the day. So people are already up and bustling, just wandering around. And as everyone's gotten up before you, you hear a distinctive This time telling you, meet the meet at the watering hole, please. We have a few things to discuss. I'm gonna start heading towards the watering hole. I'm gonna make sure I'm alone too. As you do. I want to join you. Nope. As as you do, you see just the water's edge. There's really nothing going on. There's just a few reeds. Some fishermen down farther away at a dock just doing what they can or whatever the hell they're doing but pretty close to you that you just see in a bit of a clearing between the reeds just this one dude sitting there just tossing stones casually into the water i'm gonna approach that do i recognize them you not this one specifically but you know you know one of your employers when you see it okay i'm gonna walk up to them and did I? Guess we're meeting here then, yeah? I understand you've had a busy few days, haven't you? He's uh, not no, looking I'm at you. A, I've just been lazing around, you know. Uh, I uncovered a crime ring and weapon deals and a bunch of nasty stuff. That was not a big deal, just being lazy. Understandable. And yet you're still hanging out with these lots. You learned anything new? Not much. I mean... Uh... I heard the lines on the move, but I I see you also heard that. We are well aware, (laughs) and we are monitoring it. When we know more, we'll tell you what you need. Fair enough. Uh, I'm heading down that way once we wrap up what we're doing here. Heading down that way? Uh, We're going to go see if we can uh, at least stall a bit, or... How the hell are you going to stall the greatest warlord on the con? Trying to raise his taxes. (laughs) <laughs> he sighs heavily I'll figure something out do that either that or I'll wait for everything to collapse around us so I mean oh, I consider one thing to be a little bit better boy things are already collapsing around us you just haven't noticed yet no one has age. what else do you know this crime gang syndicates whatever the hell it is what do you know about them Anything yet? Weapons are being imported by the Warforged. Mm-hmm. They're selling them to uh, some gang. Uh, gang was... They have, a na- they have a name? Yes. What was the name? Higher Hands. The Higher Hands? Hmm. 
Interesting. Before this, they were just simple drug smugglers, common thieves. Ramping it up to uh, arms. Hmm. That's a little well, concerning. Yeah, a little bit. But they took the, uh, the law enforcement guy who was uh, helping him out. They took his head. We got back the head. Now the guy wants to get even with the gang. So we're going to help him with that. I'll see if I can take the leader hostage and interrogate him a little bit. See what they were planning. Makes sense, makes sense, makes sense. The priest at the uh, the chapel there, he has a bunch of evidence on him both on the the whole thing. He'll figure out if he wants to do it, go to the guards or not, or just save it. I don't care what he does with it, but nor should you. Just so long as they get taken down, that's the most relevant thing. And so long as you know they have that in case we need it, yeah. they do owe us a favor. Keep earning those favors; they're useful. Though, one thing is starting to concern us. You've been spending with this group a little more time than with associates in the past. Care to explain why? You seem a little more attached than normal. Got a gut feeling. Care to elaborate? Unfortunately, no. Just... I wasn't asking. I had a dream. Might have been a vision. Might have just been drunk and stupid. But I saw each one of them in it. I'm going to stick around and see if that happened to be a vision or just me being drunk. If you saw these exact people in a vision, in a dream, I doubt it's being drunk. I don't know. Um, don't remember that before. I was pretty drunk. And yet you remember this dream clearly. Yeah. That's not drunk. Bam. He gets up, kind of just dusts off his clothes. Right. Before you well. Go. How's my ex-wife? Dead, like you asked. <laughs> what? No, I didn't ask him dead. He just rolls in his eyes. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> Noted. Keep working them, keep earning favors. When we know more, <coughs> you'll need you'll know what you need. Very well. Keep working them. And when you feel like sharing more about this dream, let us know. Then he just walks off. Why then? <laughs> just goes. Toodles. Back in camp. Andy, you're still desperately trying to fix people by flex taping their ribs shut. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> Sir, this is not helping with my internal bleeding. It's making it worse. Oh, God, it hurts. No. That just means you need more. <laughs> Don't worry. Trust me. I'm a monk. <laughs> you 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 say that and from behind you you just hear you're not like many other monks I've ever seen blood a holy person's detective <laughs> you well, you I mean, turn you fun. turn around and you see the elder um just kind of standing there watching you slap people's ribs with unsettling what Crunches every time. It's like surgeon simulator. Healer, sir. <laughs> is there, is the there a problem, Elder? I mean, uh, everything's uh, everything's going smoothly over here. I don't think smoothly is the right word for this lad. But uh, walk with me for a little, lad. Walk with me. Uh, okay. The, uh, the clerics are here. Don't just. For the love of the gods, just don't. Please. No, I, don't, I don't care for those, those clerics and those the homeopathic remedies they have. But okay. They are okay. very much so using actual <laughs> healing magic, which, if that's homeopathic, I don't know what the fuck is. <laughs> Anything I don't agree with is homeopathic. But that's okay. We can, we can walk together. Let's go. Let's go, Elder. I am. Lead the way. What kind of fucking... All right. Flex tape always works. <laughs> Flex tape doesn't heal PTSD. <laughs> Another line I never it. thought I'd have to but fucking say. it might. Mr. Healer, sir. It might. Please stop. Mr. Healer, sir. I lost my leg. Take a salt tablet. 
as you, as you walk through the camp, you can definitely tell things are improving. Like people are actually starting to feel better, and it's not a complete shitstorm anymore. So the flux take did work. No, the influx of people starting to come in and help is. Oh, <laughs> yes. So, but in my mind, the flex tape worked. <laughs> good to know. <laughs> and a, as as you are walking, he just goes, So tell me, lad, this monastery you're from, tell me about it. Where is it? Why'd you leave? As far as where it is... Uh... Well, it's pretty far away. And <laughs> you didn't ask where it was. Uh, is it near the mountains? Is it an oasis? Is it on the coasts? It's out in the. It's out in the mountains, out away from most civilization. I mean, there's a, a village that was traded with, but that's about it. How'd you survive? Well, uh, I was adopted by the monastery, the monks there, and they they raised me over the years. And what are they of your kind, lad? Hmm? Were they of your kind? No. With your they were all humans. proboscis. Huh. I was the only lox down there. So, uh, needless to say, I, I kind of stuck uh, stuck out, considering. Uh, I was taller than everyone there. And weigh about 400 fucking pounds over them, probably. <laughs> you stand head and shoulders above the rest? <laughs> yes. And waist over waist. <laughs> yeah. You could say that you were long in the ears for this one. As long in the ears and long in the trunk. I hate you all. <laughs> I hate you all so fucking much. I want you to know that. <laughs> Sounds like a pretty... Interesting life there. What? How did you grow? I mean, I've never exactly spent time with many monks in their monasteries. Is it sounds like an interesting life? Maybe. It was. It was uh, rather pleasant and easy going. Uh, unfortunately, it was the reason. The reason why I ended up leaving was uh, there was a lot of tension between some of the members of the monastery as I grew up. I, you know, despite how I look, I'm only, uh, I'm still only a youngling at 60 years old. 60? Huh. You're probably as old as the pup. Yeah, well, compared to humans, obviously, that's, that's pretty old compared to them. But for, for someone like me, I'm told I can live up till... 400 years old. You ever met any more of your kind, lad? Not yet. You no, think I you will? Be interested, too. Maybe I can find, I don't know, a better place of belonging. I I can never return back to the monastery. I'm exiled. By choice or by circumstance? C circumstance. There is some... Tension among the the younger members of the monastery didn't take too kindly to my presence. So fucking racist. Anyway, so you got canceled. There was a there was a fight, and due to some of the, the due to the outcome, I, I I had to I had to leave. Hmm. Sorry to hear. One of the. It wasn't my it wasn't my fault though, but I never I said it was. Helped. Never said it was. Well we do what we can with what we have. So that's how I've been managed uh, I've just been managing myself, wandering around and so far I haven't found any true companions. Mm. So recently I've met some folks with Gahal and Roland and Axel here. That's the first time I've had uh, friends in a long time. You consider them friends after only a few days, lad. Yeah, I mean, they, they feel, for some reason, they strike a chord with me. They feel like people I can... What? I can't hear you. I said squishy. 
Uh, <laughs> for some reason, I feel a connection to him that I, I haven't found with anyone else. I mean, it's, it's weird, but I don't know. For some reason, I can. I feel like I can trust him. It's a good feeling. Sometimes your instincts are right, but I'd caution you a lot. Sometimes the closer the feeling is, the more painful the heartbreak. Be careful who you truly trust. Don't push them away, just think on so easily giving something which can be so easily broken. Just think on it. That's all. Well, I do I do have a lot to learn, I guess. So <laughs> That's the beauty of the mind. That's the beauty of the world, lad. There's never everything to know. With that, there's a little bit of commotion coming from the front of the camp. And lo and behold, the second in command of the caravan, Doug, is there and he's asking for you four idiots. I plead the fifth. He, he's, he's there because they've found out more about the gang. And it's time to move. Okay. He's not here as your enemy. He won't, he, he, he's here to get, collect you so things can move, start moving forward. Um, I guess we're heading to the front of the camp. I was still in bed. No, you're, you're awake. By yeah, now. you're awake walking around. Oh, I was? Okay. Yeah, by, by this time you've been awake for maybe 10-ish minutes, just still kind of collecting yourself. But, yeah, no, you are, you are awake. As long as I, I have my, I put my gear on, because otherwise I'm butt fucking. You, you have a loincloth on, which <laughs> for you in this form is, well, about it's as passable. good as you can get. It's legal. I'm going to just get my gear on real quick, so I'm not butt fuck naked. At least get my, my, my cape on. Do what you must. As you approach, he's kind of just sitting, staying there a little antsy, hands behind his back, just... <laughs> ah, there you guys are. Okay, so I don't know much about the situation at the moment, but I've just been asked to come collect you, meet with the boss, so follow me real quick. Oh, and with that, he turns on his heel and just starts walking, just straight up power walking for a Warforged. I'll move this fast. Okay, uh, don't fall behind. <laughs> I can keep up just fine. I have long legs. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty big, as you can see. So I'm, uh, this is just a normal stride for me. You're you're pretty big, but everyone knows you're coming. <laughs> oh my god! But I. Ch- <laughs> so. He, Am I the shortest person in the group? Yes, you are. How tall are Actually, you? No, five six, five seven. Yes, you I are. I can carry you on my shoulder. Kieran is the, the is six foot what three? three? Yeah. I can carry him on my shoulder too. I can carry both of you on my shoulder. It'll be fun. Piggyback, go, we. Make a strength check. I was about to say to have to strength check that. <laughs> Everyone, climb on the Loxodon's back. Here we go, we. Yeah, who wants to ride in the Loxodon? The ride in the elephant. <laughs> Yeah, seventeen. Yeah, it's fine. Okay. <laughs> You're a big speed boost. I, I, I pulled out my, I, I pulled out my axe. Yeah, and I have a go, Yar! Speed of forty. The though. the guards that are patrolling around immediately get on edge. Just <laughs> weapons in hands, like, no, 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 It's too early to be drinking. I yes. don't care, yeah. Hey, why, why don't you get in your wolf form? You can, uh, you can uh, help us ride forward all together. <laughs> oh all right, God. we're moving. It'll be like what's his yeah, name for Elven Ring on the fucking on a horse. The horse, yes. <laughs> okay, you get back to the warehouse. You notice that there is a lot more warforged there. Just kind of armoring up, looking over supplies, getting ready. And the caravan boss is just kind of giving orders, sees you guys, goes, Ah, about fucking time you idiot showed up. Come here. I and, made you headless again. Wow, you can say it a little bit nicer. I just lost my head and it's still sore. I have a right to be cranky. It Get in my office. Fine, we're coming in. Okay. <sighs> All right. So. 
still getting my boys together here. We're trying to find out where the main base of these shitheads are. We're not sure yet. I have an idea. I have a few ideas. But I'm not 100% sure. Not yet, at least. With this being said, I want to take these fuckers out. Real slick, real clean, one fell swoop. Dig, 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 dig. Cool. That being said, we mount an all-out assault on each one of these bases that I think they're at. Not only will we not have enough people, it alert the gods, and the gods will come after us, come after them. We don't want to fucking do that. Okay? Okay? Alright. Fortunately enough, I know where a lot of these assholes congregate. As a tavern on the other side, known as the Dry Mug. It's not a good place to be. Well, a lot of bad folks, a lot of bad deals go down there. But I also know where these shitheads are. So, here's what we're gonna do. You two idiots. You don't draw a lot of attention to yourselves. As in, you go down these streets, no one's really gonna pay you a second look. Unlike these two Choose your words carefully, Warforged. Guys. These guys. I'll be no, I can be very quiet if I need to be. I felt you coming from 200 feet away. I doubt it. You don't need to be an earth bender to feel you coming. Mm. So we're idiots and they're guys. I see how, I see how this shit is going. Yeah, <laughs> the, you're idiots and they're guys because this one can retake my head off. To be fair, though, he could also raise your taxes to your head does belong. Does it look like I pay taxes? You're not a billionaire. Interesting. So yes. <laughs> He's <a> anyway. <laughs> so here's what you're going to do. Here's what you're going to do. You go in there, find out what you need to know about where the main base is, where the boss is, wherever the hell he is. I don't care. Find out. Understand? Then why the fuck are you still here? Because you're finishing up your sentence. I can get it now if you leave, if you provide. He points to a map. This is where it is. Go. All right, let's go. Scoot. Mm-hmm. Skedaddle. Run. We're walking. We're, 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 I'm like walking while I look back. Like, we're later. walking here. I'm Not walking fast here. enough. Nice, I'm walking nice here. Nice talkers here. <laughs> I'm talking here. I'm talking here. No, no we're leaving. So, you're walking through to essentially the same place of Abtida that you were yesterday. Mm-hmm. Still kind of bad, run down, crime ridden, but as you're walking through, you notice that the boss was rather correct about you two. People, the people you see, they just go, just yeah. go back about their business. You are not drawing much attention, and that's a good thing. Can I disguise self as just a generic human before entering the area? Why not? All right, so, this guy's self is a generic human. <laughs> yeah, just they all these people are seeing are just two humans, one with a gun, and there's like enough for me to not fuck with them. <laughs> and you eventually approach a rather larger than most building. It's a it's a large tavern, but it's still pretty run down. And the sign you notice it said at one point in full like embedded letters. The dry mug, but the R for dry is sort of just kind of fallen down and it's hanging by essentially a string in prayers. There, there's a, but you can tell there's a lot of people inside because there's a lot of noise coming from inside. Though it's not like rowdy noise like on a Friday night. It's more, more a Tuesday night. There was still a decent amount of people in there. Um. Would it would it look weird if I circled the place? Not really. All right, I'm gonna circle the place and see if there's uh, anything on the outside. I'm uh, picturing Han Solo in the corner for some reason. You know that part. Oh, <laughs> the cantina. Yeah. Well, we'll see when you guys enter. So I mean, there there's a few doors around. There's a straight up back door, but it's locked, and it the it's locked from the inside, and you can tell it's really dead bolted from the inside so that way no one who wants anything can get in without straight up breaking down the door so 
that's not really going to work. There are windows, but they're boarded up or someone's sitting right at them, so there's really no point. I'm more looking for, like, if there's any, like, guards on the, uh, around the area, whether they're employed by the, the dry mud or if they're just gang members hanging around. Um, there are some people hanging around, but they're more just regular-ass people, just off in corners, maybe sleeping, maybe high off their own supply, maybe just there. There's... There's no real guards around the area. And you have a sense from how barricaded each door and window is. The main focus is inside rather than outside. Because that's where all the good stuff is. And if you break into it, you're going to get on pretty quick. Gotcha. Um, Alright, let's look at the place. I think we should just go in the front door. Be his patrons. Mm-hmm. Alright, so... Any other interests going to make too much noise? Yeah. We're going to just walk in the front door. Okay. You walk in the door, and it's not like a classic Western scene where everyone stops and looks at you. You just open the door, and everyone's just like, eh. Goes back to their own business. And there, there's a lot more people in there than what it sounds like, but they're all more more just hushed in on themselves. Not really not really paying attention to anyone else. Gotcha. Um, I'm going to just walk right up to the bar. Hmm. Yeah. What you want there, bud? Mug ale. Which kind? Uh, sorry, I'm new to the town. Uh, what do you got that's, uh, low cost? Nothing good. Nothing good? I'll take nothing good. Which kind of nothing good? Cheap nothing good? (laughs) Or expensive nothing good? I'll take cheap nothing good. Fair enough. You got any cop on you? Uh. (laughs) What do you check? I have a gold piece. Gold piece? And you said that so much out loud, bud. So loud. I have a gold piece. I'll get you. That'll get you a pint. How about this gets me a pint? And I'm trying to conduct some business here. Oh, you are, you bud. What kind? Well, something that maybe you won't be, wouldn't be interested in, but maybe the leader of the hired hands would be interested in. Oh, bud. You want to know about Tylon? That's going to be more than a gold piece there, bud. Well, how much would it be? Oh, how much you got? I got two gold pieces. <laughs> oh, bud. We're fucking with Tylon now. It's going to take a lot more than a couple gold pieces. That's fine. This is just the information, though. That information is a lot more than a couple gold pieces, bud. I'm sorry, but two gold pieces is really all the gold. Well, then I can get you an ale, bud. But information... Yeah, you're going to need to come back with more. How much do you want? How much are you willing to give? Five. Speaking of which, I don't know if you I was see, supposed to wipe my wipe my uh, gold thing. I stuck with the gold that the character generator gave me, which, which was is, a fucking lot more than that. <laughs> Forty six. I mean, if you if you want to help out with this, you so, can. I'm, in on I'm that. just gonna Harry Potter this shit. So we'll say, take the whole card. Rolling just like quietly slide some money over to Axel. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Not saying a word. The three because you had two. <laughs> three gold pieces. Because he had two and you said five, didn't you? I'm saying it's going to be a lot more than five. Oh. <laughs> no one wants to fuck with the with the higher hands right now, my guys. Well, we're not trying to fuck with the higher hands. You just want to work with them. Right, but by giving information out that can be traced back, no one wants to fuck with that. Yeah. Everyone's out for themselves. They don't want to fuck. They don't want to go out of their way unless they're compensated well. We're off doing our own thing right now, so. Yeah. I'm going to go get the food. They gotta figure it out. Yeah, go get the food uh, ready. Does he got a minute? Take so it. how how much gold are you putting down? He's got a minute. Two yeah. Just do. I'll throw thirteen, so it's an even thirteen at him. How's that? Consider this an investment. Well, I can't exactly tell you about where he is right now. I just want to know how to get in touch. Hmm. Not. I'm not the guy you talk to about that, bud. Mainly because I know Tylon's not exactly in town at the moment. He'll be back in a day or so. 
but he's not in town. Meeting with some group of people, though who these people are is unknown. Powerful, apparently. Rumor has it that's where he's getting a lot of his gold from, but Interesting. But I wouldn't know. Though I'm sure those gentlemen over in the corner there, Bub, they may know more. But whether or not they be willing to talk to you, different matter altogether. May take gold, may take food, may take nothing at all, may take a beating. Though I caution you, bud, don't fight in here. That was never my goal. Keep it that way. Bill, we cut that way. Anywho, here's your pint of nothing good, cheap. <laughs> Much appreciated. I'll take the pint of nothing good and, uh... And for your trouble as well, here's one for you. Sure. Now, I have other clients. There's no one else at the bar. <laughs> Get moving. I'll take that. <laughs> Do we want to talk to the other two? The two guys who you thought was Mike Nemo? It's not two guys. It's yeah. many people. It's many people. So, you know what? It's, it's a class of negotiations. And I... Do me a favor. If they just want to punch me in the face, don't do anything, but... If they pull out knives, I don't consider that open season. <laughs> <laughs> they bring out knives so I consider it an open season. What the fuck? <sighs> okay. So you, you see where he was pointing to. It's kind of not exactly in the straight corner, but it's like corner group of guys right here. It's They're not in a booth. They're just kind of in the middle, semi-middle on the fringes of the main floor. They're, like everyone else, they're kind of huddled up, but these five guys are just more like, just kind of huddled, but relaxed huddled. They're just more trying to keep it within themselves. Gotcha. Um, not sure I have a good in, so I'm just going to walk up to them. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> I'm going to walk up, set my drink down. <laughs> Act like I'm one of the crew. It's a seat as as as, as soon as you do that, mid sense they just go. Can we help you? Probably, actually. Uh, With what? Well, as you can see, my compatriots and I are having a bit of a conversation, bud. And I don't mean to interrupt. I just and interrupt. yet you are. And I don't mean to interrupt, but. I didn't see a good point, a good point in uh, beating around the bush. I'm looking to offload some merchandise that I can't really sell at the market. What are we talking here, bud? Well, I got bronze swords, axes, armor. Hmm. Things that I'd really like to not lose profit to taxes. Hmm. Now, well, as it happens, we just lost a bit of shipment, and I'm sure we could use more. How much you want, bud? Well, I believe this deal, I'd really like to talk to Tylon. Tylon's not around right now, bud. So I've heard. I'm willing to wait a little bit. How do you know? Just so I've heard. I hear rumors. I'm a smart person. Fair enough. Well, Tylon's occupado for a little bit there, bud. Though we may be able to get someone else to help you there. A couple people, maybe. When are you looking to exchange the goods there, bud? Two, three, four days around there. Hmm. Normally, people are looking to get this stuff off pretty quick. Yeah, not. No, I have a good cover. Has to be. Has to be. So, I guess we can meet up. Though, kind of curious. Where'd you get it? I have a gentleman who crafts this stuff, but doesn't like to pay the sales tax. Roll of persuasion. Uh, 
Oh, no. oh yeah, he did. <laughs> he did. Oh. He cursed it. Seven. <laughs> Roll the counter. He straight up laughs in your face. <laughs> I'll start laughing with them. <laughs> yeah. A, don't know if that's good or bad. Just go with it. Laugh. <laughs> sure, laugh. bud. Sure. Someone right. who doesn't want to pay your tax. You, sure. You caught me. It's stolen. Well, no shit. Really. You wouldn't be here if you if it was legitimate goods there, bud. And yet, here you are. You're right. I know. So, tell you what, tell you what, our warehouse could be a good place to do this deal. You come alone, though, with your goods, and we'll work out a deal. I might have to bring a plus one. He's kind of in the deal. And also, it's not something one person alone can carry. I'm sure you can find a way. A smart man like yourself bringing in a bunch of stolen goods under the nose of the guns? You can figure out how to do it by yourself, can't you? Smart man also had help. Mm. Smart man have help. Smart man have help, yeah. Smart man can figure out how to do it without help, can't he? All right, I'll try to figure something out. Good. And I know you want to get this done in a couple days. Tylon should be back in a couple days. And what's a better birthday gift? Then a shipment of weapons after we just lost some. Bring it in tomorrow. How about that, bud? That might be a little difficult. My shipment is still on the way. You have some sample goods? A smart businessman, after all, would bring in samples to prospective clients, wouldn't he, bud? I wish I would, but... Bring what you got, then, and we'll figure out a price, then. How about that? I'll see what I can do. You better. Tomorrow. Tomorrow. Noon. Noon. Maybe bring your plus one. Anyone else? Just a plus one. Just anyone else. We know some fowl who really like a snack. Especially in season. (laughs) (laughs) Hong Kong. Right. There'll only be one, me, maybe one more. Maybe. Maybe. Off you go. And I want to figure it out. Figure it out quick. Bye bye. I'm going to get up and leave. As you do. Good job, Kenny. Rolla just uh, stays behind. No, it's kind of like I was, you know, I'm following. Okay, you're following. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Your roller's just staying there. Oh, but it's, 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 it's like two hours later, <laughs> like, wait, where'd he go? <laughs> that was my <mild>. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, as well, go ahead and throughout, I forgot to do this. Go ahead and ro- roll me an insight check, both of you. You got a one? Damn. I got a nine. Okay. You you get the sense that they were also, based on the conversation you kind of overheard as you were approaching, that they were maybe planning to do something. You're not sure what, but they were planning something. I kind of kind of gathered that. Like something more immediate, though. Mm-hmm. Alright, we're gonna head back to uh, where, uh, warehouse. Make, to the boss. Yeah. Right. Back to the boss. So. It sounds like uh, they're trying to arm a militia or something. Don't play Kenny. That just damn near went all over my face. And all down everything. <laughs> so, you get back, there's, there's still a lot of Warforged there, but um, they're now a lot more well organized. And you can tell. They're arming up pretty quick. <clears throat> Sorry, checking my notes. All right. So you, you, the boss sees you, rushes up. 
All right, so what'd you know? What'd okay. you find out? I got a beaten tomorrow. Tomorrow? Tomorrow. I'm supposed to be supplying weapons to him. Uh, we can take care of that. How many weapons? Uh, a sample. Uh, we can actually handle that. Where? Their warehouse. Noon. Noon. Hmm. Okay. Thing is, I'm supposed to come alone. Maybe bring a plus one. Oh, don't worry about that. We can move pretty quickly in ways they can't see. Tylon will not be there. The fuck do you mean, Tylon? I won't be there. He's out of town. Well, when's he gonna be back? Two days. This sets us up to meet him later, though. I said my shipment's not gonna be here for two, three, four days. So, we're setting up a sample for him. <sighs> However, I'm getting the idea that they want these pretty immediately. I think they either know that you know, and are trying to, you know, not let you do what you're about to do, or they're arming for something else. I don't know shit about what they're doing. What the fuck? <sighs> no, but you're about to do. Yeah, whatever. Okay. 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 I mean, they know you got your head back. How do you know that? We attacked the building you were in. And? A bunch of guys ran. And? Do you know those guys talked? They probably did. To their boss? Don't need to deal with this shit right now. All right. Okay. So, noon tomorrow at the warehouse. I had a feeling it'd be at their warehouse. All right. Okay. 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 <clears throat> okay. Shut up. <laughs> so, I'll get the shipment together. Go ahead and just pick out some random things that you think look shiny or whatever the fuck. I don't care. Put them in a box. Get that ready. Takes out a map. Meet us here. It's like a block outside of the warehouse on the map. Meet us here a little before noon tomorrow. You'll go in and you'll give us the signal and we'll pounce on these fuckers and cut off the body. An army marches on their stomach, right? Well, this is the army's stomach, their weapons. Whatever the fuck they're doing, this is what they're doing it with. We take it all back. Right, so we want to take out those guys before Tylen shows up and now he's in a bigger world of trouble or do we want to actually give them the stuff so that we meet him? I want to take these fuckers out. Talon comes back without his army. He's easy prey. All right, makes sense. So, just so we're <laughs> both up to date on the plan. It'd be great if we had an artificer have uh, the weapon that we give them make it glow like it's awesomely powerful and it's literally just enchanted to glow and that's it. <laughs> well, none of you chose artificer, so blame yourselves. <laughs> you have no one to blame but yourself, and I have okay. no pity for any of you. <laughs> Sorry, guys, I can't help you. I'm just a barbarian. <laughs> And I'm just a monk. I can only punch things. No, no. You can flex tape um, PTSD away. <laughs> or at least try to. Yeah, try to, exactly. You won't have PTSD if you can't breathe anymore. <laughs> that got dark really quick. Holy shit. <laughs> <sighs> wow. It's okay. Just just stop screaming. Just stop. Oh, we all know. Stop. <laughs> we all know it's not real anyways. Those, those clerics and their... their Science. It'll be over soon, my dear. Take 17 <laughs> psychic damage just for that. Right now. What's that? <laughs> because how fucking dare you? Alright, I'm down to two hit points. Fantastic. <laughs> I, I would say that's deserved. I would, I would say too, because it fucking is. Holy shit. Where am I in this whole situation? Am I just with the Warforged? You're with the Warforged. Yeah, you I mean, there, there, you could. There's nothing really for you to do. You can go off and do whatever the fuck you want. Like hell, you can go find a cow to fuck. I don't care. What is my? Uh, well, I mean, where do you want me to be in this, Max? Like, do you want my character to like just hang out back and just be stealth, or what? I you, do have stealth. You were not involved in this situation entirely. So I'm just sitting there watching everything. Yeah. So what do you want to do? Well, you you two are together. Like yeah. you can go find find a circle jerk to join. I don't care. Well, me, I mean, I usually me and, yeah. You mean can all work together? So uh, you are. I'm what? You are about as loud as a thunderstorm. Yeah. Well, you want to take a look around the war force together? Let's see if. Uh, I got nothing else to do. I mean, I'm always curious. What's the uh, boss's exploring. name again? You don't know his name. Everyone just calls him boss. Yeah. I want to call him the headless snake. 
Um, Let's not bring that community down on us, please. Not yet. Hmm? <laughs> um, fuck, what's... What, I mean, no one ever asked his name, actually, did they? I, I, come, I, go, I, uh, I go up to the Warforge and, and uh, look down at him. And, what do you want? I want to know your name. Why? Because I don't like calling people boss that aren't my boss. Well, too bad. Okay, then you're Bebop. Fine. All right, Bebop. What do you want to... Um, now, they're going to basically get jumped. You're going to get jumped. And what do you mean I'm going to get jumped? Are you going with them to fight these motherfuckers? Of course I am. You, I want to kick these shits' heads, too. And you know this is 99% probably a trap, right? No, it's not. We're going to jump on them first. Okay. Let's say that they know... Okay, let's just say that they know and prepare. Uh -huh. Okay. What is the contingency plan if this goes south? You throw enough bodies at something, mm. and the problem gets solved. Yeah. You see my boys here. There's maybe about 50 care of more fortune guys here. You see my boys here. They have been fighting in the desert for a long time. They can handle a few gangers. What's your point? My point is, is I've seen enough battles go south. Oh, you have, have, have you? How cute. Are you the boss here? Do you want me to be? I can take no. my head to clean fuck off. Oh. <laughs> you have my friends with you helping you out, and that concerns me. So, also, you they're your friends. I mean, Kahal here does have a lot of experience in battle. I mean, it always pays to learn from those with experience, as I've been taught. Really? When's the last battle you fought? Well, it was a giant goose. Okay, let me try this again. When was the last when was the last large scale pitch battle you fought? Fifty years ago. Fifty years. Wow. It's almost as if that's a long time ago and things have changed. Well, I'm sorry if you rust out before you get old, but uh I live a lot longer than you probably do. Fifty and years I... for me is a blink of the eye. And I am so happy for you. Now, but the what thing is, is your plan if there is other issues. My plan is to come up with another plan on my own. <laughs> and guess what? Who needs to know that plan? Not you. Okay? You have fun then. I will. And you will be doing it without accident. Mm-hmm. Right. Well, have fun getting the kudai by yourselves. Bye. Go. Get. I'm going to take his head. <laughs> no. Wait, am I in the roof first? No. Oh, that was a great idea. That was a great idea. Roll for initiative. <laughs> I'm kidding, Max. Nope. You too. Roll for initiative. Why'd you have to do that, Carl? Because he's being an asshole. <laughs> four. What's your four plus? Oh, because the. Uh... I'm going to need to find a dice roller online real quick for 50 Warforged. <laughs> <laughs> the side I've been using. Wait, he's level 50? No. Oh, okay. Four, 50 individual fucking Warforged. At that point, I would use group tactics. <laughs> There's dice.clockworkmod.com, which is what I've been using. Yeah, oh, wait, when we added for initiative fund. The plus. Plus two? Yeah, for your proficiency. So you're a six, and if I can get my app to load and not crash again. Come on, Prism. Why are you crashing? Uh -huh. do, 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 do. All right, so 20 for me. I'm sorry, 22 for me. Okay, and mine's six. Oh, well, uh, oh, you're on the sheet. I was looking at it. 
do 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 This is going to be exciting. Okay, Andy, what did you roll again? I'm sorry. Six. And Chris, you were 22? Yes. I'm just going to keep this. Um, do, 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 do. <sighs> this is going to be a big sheet. <laughs> it reminds me of the time when, when that guy took a bite out of the gelatinous cube and you're like, roll for damage. You're like, no, I was just kidding. Too bad. Roll for damage. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, technically, it's all acid, so he's gonna have to roll for it. Yeah, but he tried to he tried to take backsies. You know, like, nope, you're role playing. <laughs> <laughs> now I still have his head in my hand, and I'm looking at it right here. Mm-hmm. And you're staring down about fifty Warforged captains. That's fine. Do you want your guy alive or dead? I'll crush this head. Stand the fuck down now. Uh huh. Go ahead. Crush me. See what I care. <laughs> you really didn't think this through, Earl, uh, Kahal. I thought you were smarter than this. You can have the head then. I, I don't want the head. You're the one that took it. You can have it. His body's right there. I can literally put it right back on there. You can flex tape his ass if you want. So I hope you two are really ready to um, roll new characters. <laughs> Not really. Well, too bad. Really? Considering the fact that you're facing down 50 level challenge 5 characters when you're level 2. I think we can come to a, a pass here and uh, just forget this whole thing ever happened. Put his head back on, Kohal. That's up to the 50 captains in front of us. They're put, his, put his head back on. You're, you're seeing like a full-on artillery cannon being not, wheeled out and pointed right at you. I'm not dying here. With you, Kahal. Like that's this. what he says he's gonna kill us. So what's the point? Uh, I mean, there's, you, you, I'm always... still, I'm still getting stuff together. So you, you can keep thinking and keep doing this. But in when I say finish all of this, you're on your own. Uh, may I chime in here? Go ahead. So if they're really not a big cannon, we can hear this going on, right? Very much so. <laughs> can I approach the door and open it, <laughs> or walk into this room or something? Sure. All right. I'm going to just attempt to shout louder than uh, the can of being rolled in. Yes. Hey! I get tensions are high if you're having a disagreement. Can you please not kill each other before we deal with the high hand? That sounds like a good idea. Maybe put the head back on before the artillery comes down upon us and turns us into ash. Mm -hmm. Or, before a mistake is made, they lose an asset, we lose an asset, we're scratching each other's backs here. He's throwing you into the fire. I put his head back on I know body. exactly where I'm going, yeah, I set up a meeting myself. Yes, but it's also most likely a trap, and he has no plan if it is. I do well, have a plan, but it's not for you to know right now. That's what I'm saying. You don't need to know everything, do you? I'm not asking to know anything. I'm asking You're to asking know his plan. them so they don't die. You're asking if I have a plan. I'm saying yes, you don't need to know it. Then at least tell the people you're throwing into the thick of it. Why? You don't need to... You're a commander, right? Did you tell all of your soldiers all of your plans? It's called uh, who is in, it's called need to know and the people who exactly. are exactly people basis. up at the highest, which is those who are infiltrating. Your infiltrators need to know. If you don't tell them the plan, you have no way of at, communicating at, with them. At this point, he just cuts you off. What do you learn? And you have that whole conversation again. Wow, wait a minute, actually. <laughs> Well, there we go. Now that we know everything we need to know. Twelve. Tomorrow. All right, let's go. Go. Grab your right. back and just strip his neck and uh, drag him off. Let's go back. Please be cordial to each other. You deal with each other professionally. Uh, this is what I live for. This is what I live for. Kill him.
Great. Well, we'll, let's, we'll figure it out as, as we go. That was so great. <laughs> you enjoyed that, Max? <laughs> oh, absolutely, I did. As you're you're bitching and moaning at each other, I'm rolling fifty dice for you Warforged only Cap. Roll one dice. Remember, group roll. You only Charisma roll one. Character. Charisma character. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Yeah, basically, if you have more than like five or something, you just roll one dice and like, okay, that's what hits, and then you roll the damage. Um, and you basically just you just multiply it. Yeah, but where's the fun in that? I need to teach you all a lesson. So this is what D and D is. <laughs> yeah. Yes. I just I, I like how he's like not afraid of me crushing his fucking head. It's like. I, well, I mean, if you know, it's like you're taking a dent out of a car. I imagine they can just you know. Well, well it, 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 it would it would have killed him, but then he would have had to deal with fifty Warforged captains. That's true. Which that's not a fun time. No. So super, he would just be like, "Go ahead, I'll die. You die too. I may lose, but you ain't gonna win." <laughs> You it's how it's how he got to be the boss of the caravan. He knows when to ba- when to back his shit up. Yeah, I'm just worried that he's gonna get these guys killed. Because well, the worst thing is you never you never send your infiltrator units in just off table. You never send an infiltrator unit without telling them everything. Otherwise, because if stuff goes south, which it always fucking does, because life. If your uh, intelligence gatherers die. You're pretty much blind and dead in the water. And anything you send me dead to. You're going to funnel us into a fucking... It's going to... Oh, God. Well, I don't know. I don't know if you know. One of the best and worst things that you could do is you could go into what's called a choke point with no information. And you just keep dying. Okay. Anyway. Remember, I, ha- I have contingencies, too. I have my own plan. I have an axe. Congratulations. I have a lot of charm spells. Yeah, and you, I have you have yeah, I have an axe. You have you have the ability to do things. Y- yes, the party has your axe, his sword, <laughs> his flex <laughs> tape, <laughs> and his <laughs> go um something. Machine guns. <laughs> you have with, 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 with that you will be the fellowship of the yeah. morons. Anyway. I I know this is more of a Tommy gun, I think. Drum magazine. Yeah. A lot of guns have drum magazines just nowadays. There, you just go in there, here and say, Say hello to my little friend! <laughs> Immediately jams. That was done with an M16. <laughs> Would have been a little more epic if they went Predator style and just did a full uh, minigun. But, you know, what are you okay, going to do? but the character is just an average human. That's, 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 right? that's correct. It's not, it's not a Jesse Ventura. <laughs> Though, to be fair, few people can be a Jesse Ventura. Uh, anyway, head yes. back to camp to take a nap, or take us uh, take a rest for the next day. Like I, said, I mean, it's it's morning. still about maybe three o'clock. Oh, okay. Bars are still open, so and you and you three? still have some gold to spend. And that ale was, I mean, it it be generous to call it Bud Light. So putrid piss. I mean. If you're if that's what you're looking for, then Budweiser is the king. Yeah. So like, I would have maybe taken sips of it for appearance, but I would have probably left most of it on the table. No one would have blamed you. I'm with them, right? Yeah, you're right. Yeah, okay, at, so at this point, at this smell po- the piss water they drank and comment on it as a brewmaster. Um, you can smell it on his breath, and yeah, it's foul. What the fuck did you drink, Axel? Oh, it was awful. But again, okay, I can smell. Do you need me to make you something to, like, fix that? No, I don't drink. You don't drink? No, I don't drink. Well, would you like a non-alcoholic thing to make it taste better? No, it's fine. I definitely drank worse. Oof, that's shit. I'm just going to hand him a few mint leaves. <sighs> like here, Okay, if, if I went in there and ordered something that was the <laughs> nicest drink that they had, I probably would have got side eyes. <laughs> And probably stabbed, yes. But, yes, but so I, mean, I, I got the cheapest you... thing possible. Oh, God. That might have actually been piss. I don't plan to drink the entire thing. I'm not going to waste the money. Uh, here's a few mint leaves. Just chew these and they'll make you feel better. And everyone else who can have it. I never met a man that drank piss before. <laughs> <laughs> not, not literally. literally. <laughs> not literally. He's... Playing the part, though. Oh my god, Ian Cal. Alright, we should... You said it, not me. Do, do we, do we want Figure to, speech. Do you want to tell the, the... Yes. The church people. Yes. Okay, do you want to tell the god what's going on? 
Oh, I figured they were connected with the garden. The they church. Might be. The, 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 church, the church is connected to the garden. Like okay. they're 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 going to decide whether or not to use the guard to move on the Warforged and the gang at the same time. That was oh, the plan. I should say. Oh, yeah. Okay. And especially because he's... he's There's something... He's got plans. He's got, quote-unquote, backup plans, which could include you guys getting fucking screwed out of this. I don't trust him as far as I can shit. And trust me, unless I have food poisoning, it ain't going very far. That's a way to put it. Never thought I'd hear that in my lifetime. <laughs> yeah. I would say that was probably needlessly specific. <laughs> All right, we're gonna go to the church, and I'm gonna walk into to the church. Okay. Space. Sure, let's go. Let's go. Yep. Yeah, you 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 walk in. Mikalong is just kind of sweeping the place, keeping it nice and clean. Again, actually doing what the clergy should actually be fucking doing and not not gonna say it um <laughs> oh my brain went elsewhere anyway he he sees y'all walk in because it's not like you're a pretty standard looking group ah so tell me how do things go well got a second room i can help you out hey it's a bit of a conversation Go ahead. What's going on? All right. So, uh, the uh, the Wolf Forge are gonna make a move against the Hide Hand. Uh, mm-hmm. We are working with the Wolf Forge, as we said. Uh, we're gonna be faking a deal, or uh, probably faking a deal. Uh, where we're gonna give the Hide Hand a bunch of weapons. The Wolf Forge are gonna move in, and we're gonna, they're gonna take out the Hide Hand. Thing is, I'm gonna be up front doing the deal. Uh, so that's not gonna be an issue. And if anything happens to you. Leave it to us. You'll be taken care of. My big thing is also if there's a bunch of guards running around that could get the hired hand on edge, they might make a mistake, which turns costly way too early. Yeah, that could that could work. That could be true. I'm not saying divert all the guard away from there if they're already there, but maybe have a couple extra to just know to stay out of that way. Understood. Understood. Also, people who might not be recognized, because I'm pretty sure that these individuals know every guard and their families. So if we can find people who have not been spotted by them, or even new guards that are good at training, it would be a better idea if we put them on post. I'll get the captains over here and see what we can do. Do you know anything about where is the gang leader, Tyler? I think that's his name. Is is he going to be involved in this? He will not be there yet. What do you mean yet? He's out of town. Or occupied. For how long? I heard know? out of town. I heard occupado. Do you know what what? Meeting with some other powerful people is what I was heard. What I heard. That's concerning. It is. Especially because it was so important that even though I said, hey, I got arms to replace the ones you lost, wouldn't meet with me. Yeah, could be that he just... There's not enough time to meet with him. All of these people are... Uh, Something else. At, at this point, from kind of the door behind the um, main dais opens, and a another priest walks out. It's a new priest you haven't seen before. Um, he's much taller, much darker complexion, fully bald, wearing like pristine white uh, robes, unlike um, Mikalonga's robes, which are kind of dirty since he's been tending to the garden. He just kind of looks over and goes. Ah, so these the folk you've been telling me about. He just turns and goes, yes, sir. Kind of walks up, and he kind of singles you out as the main one, since you're the closest to Mikulon. He He's a little taller than Kieran, so he just kind of stands up at you, just full on. Hmm. Kenra. They expect me to be taller. Wasn't expecting you to be a dog. But we cannot control the circumstances of our birth. I just hope you're doing right by us and by whatever master you serve. I always do. Are you? I always do. Not what I asked. Are you now? Yeah. 
keep it that way. I'm my ex wife upset. Got my wife upset. <clears throat> Noted. He, he turns to McLaughlin. I will be back for those supplies that we need elsewhere tomorrow. In the meantime, I suppose you have guards to meet with. Yes, sir. Leave to. I'm gonna wait for him to leave and be like, "Did you say guards or guards?" <laughs> he said guards. Okay. He, he, you know, his his accent is really thick, but it's the same as Michelangelo's, so you can tell they come from relatively the same place. It's just you also know based on how Michelangelo went from confident and just go, "Yes, sir, yes, sir," that he is very much his superior. Did do we do I sense evil off of him? You're not sure what you sense. Mm-hmm. Can I incite the conversation? Go ahead. 19. They are definitely talking about something that would get everyone in the order involved in a shit ton of trouble. But it's not a bad thing. It's not like an evil thing. It's just something that people are would not be happy with. But not evil. Just... Just it's... It's neither good nor bad. It, it's just kind of in that gray area of gotcha. no one knows quite what to deal with it. Anything you want to share with me, then? No. Very well. Very it's, well. It's, <laughs> it's old of business. That's all I need to say. I never saw you buckle that fast before, Mechwanda. It's kind of interesting. <laughs> On a scale of rank, how much higher up is he? Let's put it like this. On a rank from 0 to 10, 0 being initiated, 10 being to Supreme Grand Master, I am currently, let's say, a 2. He is an 8. Meaning, he can talk to heads of state if he so wishes. It'll take time. But he'll speak with them. Hmm. The fact Not that he really powerful watching all that. That's good. Should we talk about the altercation, Axel? Altercation. Uh, yeah. Yes, Michelanda. Um I don't trust the Warforge at all. I mean, I clearly don't trust them to take us across the desert unscathed. Do you not trust the Warforge or do you not trust the boss? Because the boss is the one that got you into this mess. I don't trust the boss. I trust Doug. Doug's good people. Doug being... Doug. His, like, step in. Oh. So a second. Okay. Yeah. yeah no, 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 no. Well, so we tried to get the name of the Warforge boss and uh, he refused to give it. So I don't now... think he has one. Well, it's now Bebop. Fair enough. I've seen the mind, so I guess we'll just go with that. Yeah. So, so he's like Legion in Mass Effect. Um, but yeah, so he um, no name. He seems to be willing to throw Axel and Roland into the thick of things without regard. He believes that his entire armada will be able to take out the hired hand, like we've discussed. I'm just concerned that he doesn't give a shit about any type of collateral. He just kind of puts his broom to the side, looks at you. Son, I'm going to ask you a question, and I really don't want you to take this the wrong way. Have you ever actually met a businessman? Because, I gotta tell you, they're all kind of like that. I can't confirm. <laughs> so... I agree with you, but that's how they are. They do not care about life. They care about capital. So I'm a little con- I'm a little concerned that you didn't know that. No, I know that, but he's doing this off of a vendetta. He's not just doing and? this off of a business. And Have you never seen a hostile takeover? It's like this. Yes. I mean, maybe not like this, well, but it's... It, right. It, it, it's not pleasant. 
Let's just put it this way. The last group that tried to do this in Hidden Waters what, learned what it meant to be put on the stake. This ain't Hidden Waters, son. This is very much so not Hidden Waters. I'm happy that your city had those laws, but out here, things are not as kind. No, the issue I'm worried about is I'm worried about my friends getting killed, and I'm glad that you're willing to help our backs. But like I said, I don't trust this guy at all, and I wouldn't be surprised if he backstabs us as soon as he gets what he wants. Well, of course he fucking will. First chance he gets, he will fuck you blind. <laughs> but as it stands, I'm starting to think that these hired hands are the bigger priority. So if the Warforge go after them, I don't see a problem too much right now. But here, tell you what. He looks around nervously, makes sure that his superior is long gone. I'm not supposed to do this. I am really not supposed to do this. I need hair from all of you right now. Hair, now. Mm -hmm. Hair, hair, your hair. G give me some of your hair, now. You say it all the time. Uh, he he kind of takes each strand, kind of attaches a string to it. Uh, okay. It's... Okay. Let me give you some of my nose if here, I'm bald. This well. is the only time I can do this. And this is the only time I will do this. Because if I get caught doing this, this is my ass. If anything happens to you at this fight, and I hear about this, with these, I can bring you back. I will only do this once. So for this fight, and until the hands are dealt with, if it's dealt with here, I can then bring you back. I will not do this again. Do you understand what I'm telling you? And we did not have this conversation. Exactly. And if you if we did, if you tell anyone, you step foot outside of Abtita, you will get no help from the church ever again. Do you understand? Okay. Understand what conversation? What conversation? Good. Yeah. Now, I have to meet with the gods. Let's get out of Leave. Yep, let's get out of here. <coughs> 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 this is better than usual. Usually I work with a bunch of people I can't trust. <laughs> Well, to be fair, in this situation, you kind of have to. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Pokemon is right, though. He's going to backstab us. In oh, yeah, he is. Well, it sounds like we have a contingency plan if that happens, so... Didn't you make a line to say he could help us get across the desert if these, if these assholes fuck us? I need. I want to hope for the betterment of the War Forge, but I don't trust him. Hopefully they prove me wrong. Actually, you've been dealing with them more. What do you think? Well, what I think is, if boss man takes a dive and Doug steps up, we'll get a lot of help. Is it going to actually happen to me? No. We don't want to move against a right. temporary, <laughs> as it be, ally. I consider them more a resource than an ally, but yeah. currently... My only... Mm. Yeah, Doug would be a better choice based on what you said. Doug's good people. That's what you're saying. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, but we, right now he seems to be, I don't know. A lot of this does seem pretty sketchy, but... You know. What do we have? We have nothing else. Like, we have nothing else to go on. The hired hand's hated by just about everyone. They extort everyone, so there's no good redeeming value in them. Look, worst comes to worst, we can always just back out. They can't stop us from just walking out. Yeah, but then we have a reputation. It's reputation? What reputation? My city is gone. My people are dead. The only thing left is a little bit of us and a few survivors. I think overall this can create, uh, open some doors for us, though, as far as, like, get more information out uh, for you. And Stepping out of a bad job is not a something to hurt your reputation. Yeah, you didn't do something, but the employer's not... Mm paying you well to take care of a very dangerous job. You don't do it. The only problem is... Are you describing rage quitting? 
Acting your wage. Oh, acting the wage. Um, <laughs> quiet, what, quiet and then rage applying? Is that, is that what you're describing right now? <laughs> Maybe. I mean, here's the problem, too. If we actively also, if we do this and we actively, I don't know, say, I'll let an arrow fly by and hit uh, Bebop, okay? Well, first of all, it's a fucking war force. We'll just glance off. But if it, in, the, in the chance it doesn't and it actually hits well, him in the head. We can't just assume. Yes, but I'm just saying that if if we also, like, purposely not protect him, because he's probably going to be stupid and get in the thick of it, if he loses his temper, or that's that, his loss, not our concern. Yes, but then they could blame us for not protecting uh, him. Or they, that's they, not our job to say, John. They can just use that as the reason to betray us. And that. I don't think that would do that. I think we have to do... I think it's the best bet is to do our job as planned. Well, yeah, and as mainly anything. as possible. And really, I think... I don't know. I think between all of us, we can be ready for any anything that goes well, awry. What are you lads talking about? You've wandered back in the camp, and the hey, elders just kind of saying, "What are you talking stuff. about?" No. What stuff? Top secret stuff. What top secret stuff? Very top secret stuff. Very top secret stuff. Top secret. Oh, <laughs> I like top secret. Why don't you share it with me? Secret. <laughs> well, that, that's the point. It's top secret. It's not. Yeah, top secret. It's not. Ah, but the thing is, you're in my camp, so it can't be top secret because I don't know. It's outside camp. <laughs> and yet you're in my camp now, talking about it. We weren't talking. Yeah. <laughs> we weren't talking at all. You, you what, also, you, you also are noticing that the elder is looking a lot more frail. He is looking real tired. Elder, do you need to take a, a moment of rest? I'll find my own way, lad. Don't worry about it. All right, I will make you a wonderful drink that will make you very much better, and you can go to sleep. I'll sleep when I'm dead, lad, and no, trust me, that'll be die. soon. You're going to die. I know, lad. That's the fucking <laughs> joke. Oh, there you have it. Wait. A... You're dying. You didn't notice. He, he just kind of looks at you and goes, You uh, happen to be... One of the stupidest mm-hmm. fucking bell ends I've ever seen. Okay, everybody's dying. I didn't realize you had, you know. We have you, no you, you, you have seen him go over the past few days from gaunt old man to holy shit gaunt old man. Yeah, like his uh, fur is fully whitish gray now. It's falling out. His Yeah, it's stress. <laughs> it's not just stress. We don't have the totem animal to protect us. And we, he, at the age that he is, he's... Living was living off of that spirit energy. He doesn't have it anymore, Axel. Well, see, always, I didn't know that. Yeah, but still, Elder, a little rest won't hurt. It will help at least keep a little bit more energy, and I can try to give you some of mine. Well, ah, just give me an ale, you fucking brat. That'll be fine. <laughs> give it be a biscuit. <laughs> Actually, that does sound fucking wonderful. So, if you could, that'd be great. Otherwise, go to fucking bed. I'm going to make you your ale and a good. really good biscuit. I'm going good. to find a corner to uh, curl up in and, I'm gonna also, and make some more flex tape. I'm yes. going to also, because I trust the elder with everything, explain to him the situation, everything that's going down, everything. Okay. Because I'm going to sit on that conversation that I made to make sure to be like, you know, we're not giving out too much information. No, Axel, you go to bed. Huh? Hey, let him stay. What the fuck can he change? My pants. No shit. The tax rate, right? <laughs> <laughs> His disguise is like a tail. I know. I have eyes, lad. Uh, oh, you saw how bad they were, too. Okay, good. I'm not alone here. It's like three... Okay, it's like three pups that put on a trench coat and try to act like an adult. That's how bad they were. It was oh, give it some man. credit. Give it some credit. It was a nice trench coat. <laughs> It worked in the tavern. Oh, it yeah, worked like, in a tavern like cool. with a bunch of fucking drunks on piss beer. Oh, no shit, it's really. Smell that, too. It's not like pulling I don't need to smell it. You said water. you went to a fucking tavern. <laughs> Out here, these people don't know piss from beer. I don't drink. I don't know beer from anything else. No yeah. shit. I couldn't tell. <laughs> yeah, you are actually being roasted. Oh, I'm having so much fun. Right. Uh, so, so, yeah. So, just to get the process, explain to Elder everything that went down, everything that happened, where we're at, 
and the fact that we know we're going to get backstabbed out of War Forge, or at least we are mostly anticipating certain. it. We're just saying, uh, considering all possibilities, but not about the conversation that didn't happen. <laughs> well, no, that 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 part we we don't. I already forgot about it. I don't even. Talk I forgot about, about exactly. it. Exactly. Well. Yes. But yeah, I'm just missing a few nose hairs for some reason. They fell out. I just shaved a bit of your scales, or your scales of your hide. You you have calluses everywhere. You you're like a walk, you're hair. like a walking eczema patient. It's funny. Though. God, he needs a pumice stone the size of a fucking Ford Focus. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's small. He could be the size of a Ford uh, Ford pickup. Are we talking F one fifty or Titan? Yeah, I would say F one fifty. Yeah, Titan is a Nissan. Yeah, same yeah, difference. It's still a big fucking useless truck. Right. <laughs> fucking giant. <laughs> Tonto, if you're watching this, the Luxodon has more eggs in one. Uh, fantastic. Anywho, <clears throat> so you tell him everything. He's kind of patiently waiting on his beer. He was promised beer, and well, as an old man, he's he, he, he's he's getting going to get his beer. Otherwise, you're going to get kicked out of the fucking camp. <laughs> well, it's going to be the best. It's going to be one of my sweetest and most pleasant meats. Ah, good, good, good. Two seconds. <laughs> Straight up, that's exactly what happens. I have more. I'm just going to keep doing a more. I mean, he, 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 just, he just kind of looks at him and went, ah, just give me the fucking barrel. Drinks like a chart. And from from his pocket, he just takes out like a little paper straw. <laughs> like it's old healthy. <laughs> For us, Guru, it's fine. Whether or not it's healthy, I'm on death's door, so what the fuck do I care? How much time do we have, minutes. by the way, Elder? Yeah, could be tomorrow, could be tonight, could be in two days. I don't know. Lad, Eventually you saw I've, ac- I've accepted it. You need to as well. Everything ends. Oh, I know. I've accepted it. I've seen a lot. I was born at the tail end of the last greatest war. I've seen a lot. I'm happy. I couldn't change what I couldn't change. But what I could, I made sure I did. You need to know the difference, too. And you need to remember that your mistakes may not have been entirely yours. But you need to remember them. Not for what happened, but for what you learned from them. Yeah. I'm gonna miss you. Mm, Don't. Just remember the lessons and move forward from there. Death's earned me, lad. It's earned me well. This is the last night together. Ah, I don't think it will, you fucking bellend. Good. I was about to say, because I liked more roasting of this camera over here. It was great. <laughs> ah, speaking yeah. of which, he just straight up dives his head into the barrel, and you see the, the uh, level go from about here to sort of like here. Yep. Ah! Yes. Yeah, it's not bad. Could use a little more cinnamon. What the fuck is wrong with you? Hey, I'm a little running low, okay? And is that an excuse? There's Fucking more. pup. Go to sleep, all of you. <laughs> Leave me to my drink. Good night, over. Maybe then. All right. <laughs> oh, that was so much fun. <laughs> I get Axel of our disguise fit bigger. I thought we were going to die earlier. I thought I was going to have to reroll a character. Okay. So, next morning comes, and you two rendezvous where the boss told you to. Mm-hmm. You don't see his Warforged necessarily. Like, they're, he's there, and there's a few, like, maybe five-ish around him, but you don't see the rest of them. Which is surprising, because they're very shiny. Mm-hmm. And it's very bright outside. And it doesn't rain, so, you know, what are you going to do? Get some camouflage on you, I wouldn't worry about that. Just worry about this. Now... He takes out one of the swords that you put in there. This is a very unique sword. Do you understand that? It doesn't look unique, but it's very unique. Okay. Tell me you understand. I understand, but I don't know. I understand what's unique about it. Very good. I was about to say that next. He holds the hilt up to you. See this hilt? Yeah. You see how there's this little round thing in the middle here? Yeah. Do you know what this round thing is? No. Nah. It's called a ruby. It's very shiny, isn't it? Uh, yeah. Very good. You see... For us to move in, this ruby, you press it down. This blade will start glowing red. 
You can use it as an excuse saying, oh, this is very advanced technology made by an earth. I don't fucking care. Sell it how you want. Hell, masturbate with it. I don't care. I won't do that. I don't care. But either way, it will send a signal to all of us. It's a little thing called Wi-Fi. We war for have it. We'll all get the signal, and we'll move in for the attack. And we'll clear out this encampment, find what we need to, and then plan for our <coughs> next move when Tylon is in town. Understand? Yeah. Do we know how many inside? Not enough to overwhelm us. So right. maybe, maybe about 20 but we're going to be backing you up. And we're going to move fast. So, not going to lie, you may have to get your hands dirty. That's fine. I will compensate you. Okay? You will be well compensated. I'm okay? Not, I'm not with him, remember? No, you, you all go. You're all yeah. meeting with him. Oh. Yeah, we all they're, they're just making the initial contact. Right. The, the plan was, they sell it in, and then all of you go in with the Warforged to attack. Yes. That was the plan. So, you're there, too. Good. So, your anger earlier was for nothing. <laughs> All right, so, how long, how long do I have to wait before you are there? Maybe 30 seconds, not very long. Seconds. Okay. Trust me, when we start moving, it takes a lot for us to stop. And we pick up speed. We chugga, 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 boom. Okay? Gotcha. So they're expecting a plus one with Mike. Mm-hmm. Shit. No. I'm not. I'm too... I'm, they will know me. You're way too big. We both are. Uh, well... He's bigger. Yeah, but... He looks less threatening. I'm, I mean, just, he, I'm he just, looks, just a kind monk. Yeah, he's a, he's a monk. He's wearing robes. I don't even yeah. have any weapons on me. I don't... I'm not even... I can't even be lethal if I want to be. If we are attacked alone, and we have to wait 30 seconds, the better idea is for us to withdraw. So who runs the fastest? I run the fastest. He actually runs the fastest. Yeah, he does. <laughs> he could technically pick you both up and run, and then he's got to wait to charge to a door or a wall. So if there's anyone that can help out fast, it would be him. I can stand point up here with the Warforged. Yeah, what he said. Um, yeah. I think I'll these two wait with the Warforged, you come with me. All right. I need something to blend into the sand in this desert. Bebop, do you have any types of, like... Just roll around in the dirt. Your fur will pick it up. It's sand. It does not stay. Do you have any t- anything I can put over, like, a tan blanket or something? I got plenty of those, but... No offense, buddy. Nothing your size. Give us a <laughs> just, just stick here with me, okay? Is any of us a tailor? <laughs> well, both me and him have tiles. Noted. Okay. All right. I'm gonna put. On, I'm gonna cast this guy's self for the disguise I had on the night before. Ah oh, yes, the three puppies in a trench coat. Very good. Yes. <laughs> That's right. Average I go. I, I didn't look know what like he looked little, like, so I don't know. I can just look like his higher muscle for all the minor day. alteration to the disguise. A little bit of a five o'clock shadows. So I've been up all night. Fair enough. That's not too bad, Axel. You actually look like a human this time. Okay, look, the idea behind the ridiculous mustache was because if anyone were to say, hey, you see a Kenra walk into that camp, they'd be like, no, there was a guy with a ridiculous mustache instead of just random guy. Like, oh, maybe it was. I don't know. But remember the mustache. All right, let's do this thing. Good luck. Don't die. We'll do our best. <sighs> and that's the best that anyone can do. All right, so I need you to carry the weapons. It's, oh, kind of, it's kind of up to you with that many. How many weapons? Is, how many weapons do we have to... It, it's just a single box, but it's kind of full of just a smattering of things. All right, I'll strap it to my back. Let's go. All right, so we'll walk in. You, you approach the door, and there's just these two goons hanging outside. We're here. Oh, who are you here, bud? Good day. Uh, we're here because we're delivering a sample of weapons for a shipment that we were bringing in. Was, were you not informed? I think someone told me about one second, but... Take that. <clears throat> he just opens the door goes in. Hey! Hey, 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 hey. Hey, hey. This is going well. 
and Sam. Come on, Sam, Sam. Yeah. You know, the king of the other side. Okay, so I can finish it as fast as so we get. Get out of the side. Come on, Sam. Let's see if we can get written. Okay, you're going to die. Thank you. Comes outside. Oh, uh, yeah, he'll just be out here in a second to take you in. Gotcha. Is it just you two here? Oh, no, there's more of us inside. We're <laughs> just out here because it's way too cold in there for us, bud. That's fair. I feel secure. Really? Why do you feel secure around us, bud? Well, there wouldn't be a lot of you here. There were a bunch of guys around now, wouldn't there? What makes you say that, bud? We could have tipped them off, bud. Then they would be here, then? Not if we can give them food to fuck off, bud. Fair enough. Here's the thing, here's the thing, bud. Even if they're well paid, food out here is food. Even the captain will take some if he really needs it. That's how you get away with things. Everyone needs food and it's scarce. You're right. I know. <laughs> At this point, the main guy that was walking, he came out and he just kind of has a book under his arm. Oh, there you are, bud. Yeah, Good to see you. This is your. Should have said plus three. Hello. I took a shipment with one guy. You think I was a big guy? I'm not very big in sales. You need someone to carry the, the load. That too. There's an innuendo in there somewhere. Anyway, <laughs> why don't you come in here, bud? Sure. Uh, you may need to, um. Kneel down, go sideways there, bud. I'm used to duck walking, don't worry. I don't know what a duck is. Okay. <laughs> so you walk in, and it's a it's a fairly big warehouse, and like the Warforce said, there's maybe about 20 guys there just milling about, just moving crates around, sharpening weapons, getting armed up, all of that. This is quite an operation, you got. Oh, don't you know there, bud. We've been... Having a surprising influx of capital before. A lot of these guys are fairly new. It's really interesting. What is all this for? Oh, don't you worry about oh, that, bud. Right. I'm crying too much. Ah, uh, yeah, 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 you are. Yeah, he almost had me make you go to... You know, I mean, Apologies. Ah. Uh, he talks too much. You know, he can't help it. I can tell there, but Anyway, let's take a look at damn their weapons, bud. All right, Absolutely. plops down the box, opens it up. So what you got for me? Well, I got a couple of uh, pretty nice swords. These are military grade, and I'm going to take out one, the, the particular sword. Okay. As you can see, very well maintained, very well crafted. Ooh, where's that from, bud? I looks like may, maybe, that looks maybe Kudai, but, or you lie. Ooh, that's very good. Oh, yeah. That can cause a lot of damage. <laughs> I have certain... He, he, he just, he just kind of... <laughs> yes. I just... Oh my god. <laughs> oh dear, Andy. I am trying to decide if I want to punish you or reward you. <laughs> I am not sure which one I want to do, so choose no, your really. next few words carefully. We're going to change this character's name to Fish instead. Anyway. <laughs> anyway. There's no robot here, is there? I don't know. I mean, we are present you're presenting this like an infomercial, so that's why, you know, showing it off. I gotta be, I gotta provide some flair to this. You gotta make it worth their while. So, I... You say it's military grade, like what? Why can't it specifically do there, bud? What do you mean? What can it do? It cuts people. Well, no shit. It's a sword. You but you, you, people. you said this was something special. Like, what else is there about it, there, bud? Ah, so do you have a uh, target down here, like say wood or something? Oh yeah, sure. He just kind of reaches into a nearby crate, and there's kind of like a armor stand without the armor, and just kind of takes it out. This do that for you, bud? Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna, like, uh, go to, like, 
I don't really know how to use a sword, but I mean, like, okay, so I, okay. So, you see, I'm gonna, uh, roll my needles. I'm not there. He's not there. I'm not there. I'm gonna press the ruby, mm -hmm. and be like, see, it's a little bit magical. Just a oh. little bit. What? It's a little bit magical. What? Oh! You say you're pressing the ruby? Yeah. It's starting to, you, you see it's starting to actually glow, like, kind of starts down from the hill, radiates down the spine of it, essentially, and then flares out. Mm -hmm. Like, oh. Like, even an idiot like me can use this thing and still do some damage. I'm not going oh, yeah. to piece of wood. It, it's a fairly good sword, so it actually cleanly cuts through with, there's some resistance, but it's not enough. Yeah, I didn't know how to use the soul and I was able to do that. Oh, bud. And uh, do all of them do that? I think it's just this one. It's not like I really tested it on. Oh, man. Even so there, bud. Like, even just a few of those, if there's in that shipment, that'd, that'd be good there, bub. Holy shit. A little force multiply there for the new guys so that they fight like they're veterans. Ooh. And if, not, if it doesn't even do anything, certainly give them the confidence to do that. Oh, yeah, bud. That... That looks good. And as he's kind of cooing over things, um, what's his, what's your two's passive perception? Nine. I'm talking to them too. Oh. Passive perception. Eleven. I was talking to Kenny Inker. <laughs> plus four to wisdom, right? It's plus uh, wisdom, right? Here, it should say right on here what your perception is. Yeah, it's right there. It's 14. Oh. Oh, I see that. Okay. Is that just 10 plus your wisdom? Uh, I believe so. 32. 32? Oh, 11. <laughs> I was about to say, uh, the, the <laughs> fuck it is. Uh, fuck you, it's not. It might be 12. I don't know. Okay. Uh, both of you go ahead and roll me a perception check. Then real quick, please. It's fucking better. Yeah. 18. Okay. As the the sword really kind of grabbed everyone's attention, everyone was like, ooh. But you feel from underneath just this kind of rumbling. It's both kind of on the surface and it's coming from underneath. And no one else has really noticed because, again, shiny sword is shiny. That cuts well. Get shiny. Anyone else feel that? Shh. Chris, make a strength check. Ten plus. Actually, I can just take my native. I think fifteen. Oh, I forgot. My strength is twenty. So. Uh, yeah, it would be. Uh, I guess it would just be fifteen because I, that that feat doesn't happen until later on. So yeah, fifteen. Congratulations, you have Kool-Aid manned your way through the wall. <laughs> and as you, as you do so, from just kind of the edges of the building, the the rest of the Warforge just straight up burst out from underneath the building and just start wrecking shit. Everyone roll initiative. <laughs> I can't help. Let me but picture, take this. Right? <laughs> I can't help but picture like that. Uh, that flash gets short, or the Templars just start throwing tables and bashing tables as well as everything else. What? What was your initiative, Kenny? Uh, cool. Okay. Um, let's clear all of this off, please. Thank you. Yeah. And then, uh, plus I'm not even really using this, I'm using the site. Plus the five. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you need to have a math for me. And the rest is my hit points are back up. <laughs> okay, just kind of think of this as the main building, and each one of these are just like the rooms off to the side. Does that work for everyone? Too bad, because that's how it's going to. Mm -hmm. All right. <laughs> Place down mm -hmm. our characters. I thought I had a warehouse thing now. I couldn't find it, so we're just using this from there. And that's we've got a place that's where we're supposed to be. Mm-hmm. Right. So I can reach. 
Oh, can I, can I scream? Oh, yeah! The wrecking balls here, bitches! I'm surprised you just didn't say that already. <laughs> yeah, it was a good one. Well, I mean, we, we haven't, we just started the thing, so I haven't yet to speak yet. I'm gonna, as soon as I can, I'm gonna do it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> fucking Kool Aid Man. It's like a perfect outline of my character, like a fucking bug uh, Hemi, can you? Because you two are kind of right here. And I will roll for these guys' initiative in a moment. First thing oh, boy, this is such a surprise. Uh, I didn't know this was going to happen at all. Not yet. Uh, yeah, these will do. Kenny, do you want any mashed potatoes and beef meatloaf? Not more. Max? Um, no, thank you. Maybe in a minute or two, but. Mm-hmm. And we're just gonna. No, please don't. Copyright music. Yeah, I hate that. Well, funny is it after the I know, but nothing beats Paul Wolf and their cooling man through a fucking building, okay? Uh, the, problem, the problem is he's not wrong. Okay. Do, 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 do. <laughs> this is the fun part of D&D, where I make this order. Uh, -huh. uh Chris, go ahead and roll again real quick. Uh, 8. Okay. So I went from 21 to 8. Someone else roll the 21? Mm hmm. Yeah, it was something I'm gonna worry about. Okay, so we begin, but, well, this is a surprise attack, so all the veterans are caught off guard, or all the gangers are caught off guard, so we'll skip the first one. Chris, go ahead, do it, you must. Okay. And let me... Yeah. 
Where is the, uh, is this the, is this the one that was doing the main sale? Yes. He is, no, he, you will not. He is surprised, so don't worry about him. All right, let me Which ones are the Warforged and which ones are the? You don't need to worry about. The Warforged are handling the majority of the guys. These are just the ones you're worried okay. about. Yes. Do I notice anyone with range attacks? The two guys in the very back. They are, you can very much tell, they are spellcasters. Oh, okay. Which one's Kenny's model? Well, you know my model. No, Kenny's model. Oh, Kenny, Kenny's. Okay, that's what I thought. Yeah, these two are the spellcasters. Alright, that's not where I'm going to focus on. Alright, I'm going to go with, uh... I'm not sure how this happened, but I'm going to be approaching the spellcasters. And break through the wall and go, oh yeah! And I'm going to do a full-on charge onto this guy with rage. Okay. Using my uh, axe. Okay. So, Your favorite head chopper. Yeah, so I'm going to... Oops. Oh, I think he was here. No, he was... He was, he was, he was. So I'm going to go full-on... Uh, Let me see here. I think that was one closer to Andy. Mm -hmm. there. And then... Let's see here. Rage gives me plus two on strength, I think. So, yeah. Yep. I just need to double check. Oh, yeah. And also, oh, wait. I don't have that ability yet. So, yes. Okay. Perfect. That makes it easy, then. So... <clears throat> So, does a 21 hit? That hits. Alright. And then he's going to take 1d12 plus 7. Uh, 15 damage. Okay. Anything else? Damage. Okay. And thirteen damage. Okay. Anything else? Nope. Okay. Here. Okay. What was it? Is eighteen? That hits. Oh, uh, he's kind of charging me. Let's say he's probably knocked from. That's fine. That was two. Yep. Five damage. Yeah, I can only attack once at this level. Great, <laughs> So... I'm blanking because I'm an idiot. Standing up from prone counts as an action, so he cannot attack. Counts as half your movement. Half movement, right. Okay, yeah. <coughs> I'm just an idiot sometimes. Okay, so the vet that you knocked over, or the sale, sorry, ganger, fuck, that you knocked over stands back up and starts swinging at you, Chris, going, What the fuck is this here, bud? I found out your range. The end of my range is like here. Nice. So I'm just going to be taking the shots from the edge. Did you do this? And there's no reason for me to move forward. <laughs> okay. Unless I have no line of sight. This man set us all up. Over. Uh, 22. Oh, 
Okay. Six damage to you, second attack. That does not hit. Okay, so just six damage. And Kenny. Um, I'm going to cast Sleep back here. Okay. There's like an area effect? Yes. And you just gotta roll that one. Yeah. Oh my god. God. And what does that throw uh, they need to beat? This amount of hit points will fall asleep. I'm sorry? Uh, creatures up to this maximum amount of hit points will fall asleep, so really I'm just targeting those two. Okay, how much did you roll? Uh, nine, 17, They're asleep. 21. <laughs> the, these guys are glass cannons. That's so. why I targeted them. <laughs> okay, so those two are very much so going... I feel very sick. <laughs> and they fall and just face plant. Just <laughs> Alright then. Surprise okay. Um then I will stay where I am movement wise. Okay, so one next one is one of them. Very much asleep. So this next one is the second one of them. Still very much asleep. Andy. Yes. Go. Do 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 what you must. All right. For the attack has begun. Mm. Don't kill the leader. Just knock him out. We're gonna use him for questioning. If you can. If I can. Uh, bear bear in mind, there's still two other guys that you need to deal with. Yeah, good point. Yeah. All right. Since those are. Sure you're aiming at this one. Okay. Since those two spellcasters are asleep, it would be not very good proactive to go after them. So I'm going to go after the guy in the back here so he doesn't make a move on us. And I appreciate that. Do, do, do. I'm going to attack him with my, my fists. Awesome and dexterity. All right, so... Alright, six plus, and then it's plus your dexterity, right? Oh. Or, you know, oh. he's dexterity instead of strength. That comes through. Well, on the tackle, it says right here, your unarmed strength is plus four. Okay, so it's ten. Plus. Oh. Plus. Is there like a special thing that you get because you have that? You're a monk? Well, you use dexterity, so strength for attacking damage from his arrow strikes. You can roll a d4 in place of minimal damage from arrow strikes. Can you take an arm strike on monk with any strength? You can make one arm strike as a bonus action. That's a thing, yeah, that's a weapon. Sorry about that. So, okay. <clears throat> so the first attack is a what? A ten then, right? Yeah. That uh, okay. misses. All right. And then uh, use one of my key. I have two of those okay. for the day, and allows me to allows me to use. Where is it? First one. There you go. Flurry of blows. So I'm, uh, two arm two arm strikes. So first strike. Ha! <laughs> one. Okay. You slip and fall. I saw the movement. Ring, ding, 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 it's like a freaking a, a, a whirlwind battle. Clunk. <laughs> you have to fly again. 17. 17. That hits. Alright. Plus, plus 17 plus 4, so yeah. 17 hits. Like yeah. just a straight up 17 hits. Alright, and I roll d4 for damage. This is pyramid. This. It looks like a pyramid. Ah. Two. Two. Plus, plus strength. Plus strength. Well, oh, plus dex. Oh, yeah, plus dex. So. Uh, is it? Yeah, for monk. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's monk. Dex, there is strength. So, uh, so it'll be two, plus 20 then? 
No. no. Plus five. Plus Wait. seven. Okay. Yeah, because you don't add proficiency to that. All right, okay. So seven damage there. Okay. That was, uh, I think that's all my attacks for that. Yes. Okay. So this second veteran... Oh, no, wait, he's... Yeah, no, that's that's right. All right. No, we're back to the we're back to the top. I'm stupid. He comes around seeing you, Kenny, and is not happy. Hey, you sold us out there, bud! You, you sold, sold us, us out! This guy is? <laughs> and I put my D20 away because I'm a fucking idiot. Okay, these guys are not rolling very well. Ten. That will not hit, no. Second attack. Eighteen. That will hit. Okay. Take five damage. Cool. I'm going to need him to make a dex saving throw. <coughs> I'm going to cast uh, Hell's Rebuke. All right. That is a 12. Fail. So full damage. Hell's Rebuke is 2d10? Ooh. I always have to look this up. Let me take a look. You think we'd know it by now? <laughs> uh, da 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 Come on. Oh shit! Uh, when he attacked me, I have resistance to bludgeoning, piercing, and slashing because I was raged. Okay, take half damage then. Yep. Two d ten fire. Yep. Uh, he's gonna take fifteen damage. Jesus. So how much again? I'm sorry. Wait, fifteen. Fifteen. Okay. Chris. All right. So I'm going after the boss again. Okay. Uh, I'm going to, uh, because I'm still in rage, I'm going to use my reckless attack against this asshole. Okay. So, Ooh, what you will. basically, I just I mean, if how, it how, gets advantage anyways. Yeah, how how if uh, how hurt is he from me, by the way? Considering I did all that damage to him, he, he's he's looking worse for wear. All right, I'm just gonna have that crazed bloodlust look in my eye with a slight grin as I raise my axe up again to strike with that first. This, uh, it's a 12 plus uh, 12 plus eight, <gasps> 12 plus eight. It hits. It. <laughs> All right, damage time. Strip. Thank you. I'm not gonna keep there. I'm gonna decrease that by four. No, you will not. Okay. You gonna let me have it then? 12? You you rolled it. Therefore, it's what you get. Twenty damage. How does he die? <laughs> I turn my axe this way. No. Oh. How does he die? Okay. <laughs> so, Paul, so, you're not supposed to overdo it. So yeah, as I cl as I, cl I as I look, I go. Any last words? Oh, so you're doing it on purpose? Okay, never mind. Then. He he just looks you dead in the eye and goes, "Monster." And I cut him clean in half, and then it just slowly. And then the other part of his falls over. You're the one that told us to keep him alive. I changed my mind. N no, you didn't. In the moment of rage, you lost control. Yeah. And you don't whisper always, but he, in even in your rage, you full on see he just straight up in fear and anger calls you a monster, and it shudders you for a moment, like it sends a shiver down your spine. Oh, I would, I would enjoy no. that. Nope. Can someone knock him over, please? It works. <laughs> All right. So, he has been removed from that Kieran Go. I still, have, I still have attacks. I can still move. Go for it. All right, go ahead. I'm just going to turn around because this guy's right fucking next to me, and he tried to hit Axel, 
and I just turn. I just so he I didn't just, try. He did. Oh yeah, I pivot and look at him with the same crazed look in my eye after he just saw his boss get fucking gutted in half. He didn't quite see his focus, but okay. <laughs> he's still he's gonna have his focus on Kenny on uh, Axel. Eighteen. That hits. All right, plus uh, eight. Uh, nine damage, and then. Ten? Ten hit? Ten does not hit. Okay, so then he just takes eight damage then. Eight more, da eight more damage. Okay. And that's for my bite. So I, I, uh, I bite him on the neck and, uh, and actually, you know what? I'm going to use it to grapple. Okay. Because I can use a bite attack to grapple. Do I have to roll anything else for grapple, Kenny? Uh, no, just roll strength. I think it's athletics versus acrobatics or athletics. Yeah. 17 plus... Uh, athletics. Or acrobatics, I think. Well, that's not 20, so... Yeah. Let's see here. Double checking. It's a strength check, so it's going to be 17. It's going to be 25 on my end. Do, do, or, do. not sorry, yeah, 25, because plus 8. Yeah. Okay, well, again, not 20, not, not success, so... Yeah, you, you you try, but there's like a little twinge in your neck that prevents you from picking him up fully. I was just going to pin him down and start mulling him. Yeah, there's, there, again, it's, it's, a, it's a twinge in your neck that's painful enough to make you just go, Ah, fuck! Don't tell me. Does Rage make you immune to any conditions? I think at higher levels, but at level two, no. It only gives me resistance to bludgeoning, piercing, and slashing. Let me look it up. I have my feats right here. Okay. Anyway, as he's doing that, Kira, please do something. 22. It's this. That hits. It'll be seven damage. And I'm going to use action surge to uh, attack again. Which, 18 to hit. That hits. 7 damage. Okay. Do, 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 do. Fantastic. Kenny, do something. Uh, I need to know if it uh, makes him immune. Do what? Oh, because you're probably going to do an AOE. Condition. What condition? Charmed or feared? Or frightened? Um, frightened I will be immune to, but charmed and no. Okay, I was going to be frightened anyways. Um, I'm going to use... What is this about to be called? I don't know what it's called, but as an action, I can make all creatures within 10 feet of me make a wisdom saving throw or become either charmed or frightened for one round. Ooh. Okay. So obviously, the main target is that dude, so he makes a wisdom saving throw. Okay. Yeah, that doesn't pass. So he's being gra he was just bitten by this fucking twelve foot tall wolf, and that wasn't terrifying enough. Suddenly he just fear grips him. You start to smell something really funky. You don't grant. Give up. Great thinking, Axel. Too bad you didn't use that on the leader. <sighs> Color commentary. Okay, the mages are still asleep, so Andy. Yes. Do something. Alright, I'm gonna continue my attack on that individual. In this situation. Strike. Ten plus So fifteen. Uh yes. Fifteen does not hit. Wait. Oh, yep. Yeah, it would be 15 for you. Yeah. Does not hit. Alright. Use my other key energy for two unarmed strikes. First strike. Does not hit. So 10 again. And next one. 22. That hits. Alright. I'd be a little concerned if that did not hit. <laughs> 
22. Miss. Huh? <laughs> I'm not having you guys fight angels. <laughs> I mean, unless you want to fight him, in which case, you know, go ahead. At level two, fighting full on angels, go ahead. I don't care. That's not you guys. Yeah, not All right, so three, and then the damage would be, so eight damage. Okay. Oh. How nice. How does it die? Ooh. Uh, I punch him in the face so hard that it just encaves. So and you nice punch a hole bonk. through his face. I was going to say, like, kind of like how Play-Doh kind of takes the shape of your face, uh, of your fist when you punch the Play-Doh. That's kind of like what happens to his face. <laughs> he doom died his ass. Okay, so, yeah, you, your fist just rams into the face, and you feel bone and tissue in no pleasant way just kind of crack, snap, and break around your fist. Uh, it doesn't make a very natural sound. At least, no sound a face should make. <laughs> Not from the mouth. <laughs> and you, you, you try to pull the fist back, but it kind of the body kind of follows the fist. Like it's your fist is straight up stuck on there, so you kind of have to grab the head and yeah. pull it off. Uh, and uh, uh, um, yeah, yeah, you just like little trails of lines of blood are just following it and it's just like oh oh dear oh, sorry about that i don't know my own strength sometimes in response it just oh that's this guy sorry it, it, humans are so squishy it in response to that it just you just hear a kind of that's a lot of damage Okay. Don't <laughs> actually stop it. Keep, keep, keep making the jokes. All right. Um, so, this is that guy, and he's scared shitless. So let's see if he can snap out of his scared shitlessness. So I, he's frightened until my next turn. Oh, that's right. Yeah, sorry. Um, so yeah, he is. the The smell is only increasing in intensity. Can I squeeze and get the rest out? It's your turn. Good. So... Did he surrender? He does not know how to form words at the moment. <laughs> I'm enraged. There is nothing stopping me. Call, that dude. Call. Hey, Call, you gotta leave at least one of these guys alive that might know something. There's two mages. They can be fine. I don't know. They don't even no, you you don't even say that. You are, you are in the grips of rage. Words do not... Words do not exist. 17. That hits. You don't even need that anything. It just hits. I'm going to maul him. Start with mauling him. Okay. Uh, actually, I get advantage. It's yes. mauling? You only get advantage to hit. Oh, okay. Then it's, uh, it's going to be 10 damage. Okay. And then claws, which are here. Are the two mages still asleep? Yes. They're asleep for a full on minute. 16 to hit? How do, um, no. 16 doesn't hit? Nope. Uh, so that's 10 damage. Mm -hmm. Okay. Then I'm going to see 16. 17 does, but not 16. So Interesting. That makes sense. Okay. Well, it's my bad. Okay, that's going to hit. So, uh, it's an 18. That hits. Not before multiply, so yeah, it's going to hit. Yeah, it. All right. Seven, so uh, thirteen. No, seven, seven, eleven. Eleven damage. Yes. How does he die? Mm -hmm. As I run my claws into his body and split his chest slowly apart, I reach in with my mo with my mouth or my muzzling rip out his heart. <laughs> I <laughs> don't need to say anything further. Yeah, you 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 just straight up eat his fucking heart, and there you are. Tasty. Presented without comment. <laughs> I don't think I need. To, do I really need to comment? No. <laughs> that's alcohol. So the mages are still asleep, but they're started kind of maybe going. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I still have one more attack. 
Cabal, don't do it. You have to move to them first. I can move. They're in range. All right, go ahead. Gahal. He's enraged. He must fight. I can end my rage. Yes. You can. Roll to see if that happens. Yeah. There we go. You, it's, it's, a, it's a normal, race, normal check, though. Without, without having to roll, so. You're in a rage state, Don't. though. You're out of control. Yeah. Uh, so, I'm... Technically, you're a berserker at this point. You know, we can't get close to. Uh, six plus five. Eighteen. You are still enraged. And bear in mind, as you are fighting and as you are killing, you are just hearing this voice going, Go. So I want to stop the hall. Oh, wait, I'm the biggest one here. I can probably stop him. I got a different plan. Axe time. Hey, Axel, can you at least get one of the spellcasters out of here? Oh, that's fucked. Well, what is it? Was it? Was it? It's, it's a 20. Not a natural 20, but it's 20. I'm that, that still hits. That poor mage is going to get fucked. <coughs> 16 damage. <laughs> Where did you go? Where did you go? How does it die? <laughs> I grab him by the shoulders as he slowly wakes up. And I bite his head right uh, right at the neck and rip it clean off. The head then hits the other guy next to him. That's fantastic. Okay, um, real quick, what's... Don't answer this, Chris. What's everyone else's passive perception? Passive perception. Eleven. So, you've... You three have kind of noticed... Fourteen. The other Warforged have taken care of everyone else. So they're just watching him go to town, and you can tell they are not comfortable. <laughs> Alright, uh... Hmm. Okay, the other mage is, uh... still waking up, but Kier, your first turn. Get, uh, right. get that mage out of here. But the problem is, I'm out of movement, so I have to start pulling on my other next turn. I was gonna try to pull him around the corner. Get him out of you, cover him up. I can do that. So I'd be... Yeah, right there. <laughs> well, that's that depends. He's in rage. You might have just attack him through you. Mm -hmm. I don't mind. Roland has seen me in this bef do this before. Mm -hmm. Quite a few times. He knows how to handle me. He's seen you in rage, but he's never seen you in this kind of rage. Well, this is kind of new. So this is a rage that I'm not even familiar with. That's mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Very much so. This is something alien to you. Alright, whose turn is it next then? Is it me? Uh, yeah, me. it's you. Alright. And then, and, then, and, then the, and then the mage. I'm going to use Disguise Self. I'm going to make myself look like the mage. <laughs> <laughs> Keep going. <laughs> um, I, I want to see where this plan goes. It's probably not going to end well, but I want to see it. I'm going to try to mimic not my voice and call it the Cajal. Okay. You bastard, you're not going to get me! <laughs> I'm just trying to start running that way. There's just one problem with I that. I can move 35. There There's one problem with that, Kenny. I'm a shifter. So? You're in rage. I get advantage on all wisdom checks and perception checks. Problem is, you are also in a very deep rage, so no, you are not. Okay, good. Thank you, Max, for like at least helping that part out. You are blacked out, my man. Like, oh, okay. you, you, have, you have lost control. Okay, cool. And you turn and see what you think it... Well, ev everything is an enemy right now. You see an enemy, you start moving towards him. I'm going to... But you don't have full movement. Yeah. You not, can't even sprint. It's not your turn yet either. I know. I just... I, I, I turn and look at... I turn and look like at the soon-to-be fleshlight. <laughs> Hold up. Please I, don't I, use yeah. that term. For my uh, how many squares do you move me? I'd say... One, two, three, four. How many? How you many can move? move? Three more. Three more? Yeah. He's off the board. Pretty much that at the end. Just what's, put him, uh, put him at the edge. Put him at the edge. Yeah. What's your movement? Twelve. Your movement. I have I have my movement six, and then okay. I can move double my speed. As an action. 
Like my okay, cool. 40. Uh, All right. Yes. Wait, let me double check. I think it's one of my passes, isn't it? Uh, Any. Uh, d- dashing as a bonus action as a rogue thing. Yes. It's your turn, Andy. All right, I'm you going to run and try to grapple Kahal so hmm? that we can uh, get him under control. I can move I you're 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 slowing down is the thing. Thank you. Forty movements. Okay. <coughs> so I can reach him, and I'm going to grapple Kahal so to like calm him down so we can like get him under control. So that's a strength check, right? Strength check. Am I? Yep. Go ahead and roll it against each other. Come on. Do it. Wait, uh, you're grappling? See. It doesn't count as an He's attack. Grappling. Yeah, athletics or acrobatics versus athletics or acrobatics. Okay. Strength. Yeah, would be athletics. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so whenever but you, you also add your athletics to it. Okay. Oh, fuck, then I would have grappled with the asshole then because I didn't do that. Oh, well. Oh, well. He's dead anyway. It don't matter. I rolled a one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm arguing semantics here for you to roll a one. I just with this crazed look in my eye. Like you, you, he, you're you're holding him back, but he is definitely moving towards it. Oh no, no, I just, I just take, I just with this crazed look in my eye, like a de- like a demon. I just look at it and I just no. do this with my paw and just slowly move him this way. Oh no, 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 no you don't. Not. There's nothing slow. You just <laughs> throw him aside. Damn, I am. Full feral werewolf at this point, yeah. <laughs> it's just, okay, it's, it's Chris's turn. Roll. Uh, what a modifier am I adding to it? You're not. 14. As you get about halfway to the door, straight up, it just snaps. There. Like, it just, the rage just floods out of you suddenly. Like it, it's it's like you're just coming out of a trance, and you just happened? you have no recollection of what happened when you started raging. It's just you raged and now you're here, and you are covered with blood. You have a funky taste in your mouth, and everyone in the building is looking terrified of you. Delicious. <laughs> I'm gonna turn around and look at my surroundings. I see, uh, I I see Roland covering a uh, mage in the background, and then I just see dead bodies everywhere. And what I can assume is from me. Very much so. And you see everything you have caused, and you are not proud of it. Like you are, you see everything. And you're just like, fuck, what, Wh- what? Oh, I can't be like, yeah. No. No, because you don't remember anything. Yeah. yeah. So you can't be proud of, and the fact that it's this bad is not something you're proud of. Kahal, what have you done? This poor mage is gonna have nightmares about this. He's gonna be an alcoholic. <laughs> <laughs> well, he was asleep for most of it, so... Oh, you're right. Well, no, he got woken up by the head that I ripped off of the other guy. Fo- that well, he's still asleep. It didn't yeah, that didn't count as damage. No, but, I mean, there's a head in his lap, pretty much. No, you ate the head, my dude. Oh, I thought I ripped it clean off. Oh, yeah, yeah, and bit, you don't think bits got down your gullet? Well, I mean, it tasted good. Thank you for proving my point. So I was like, wow. I'm, I'm like, looking around and go, wow. Uh... You eat the head. You have to face the truth. <laughs> I don't have his memories, though. I must. I must speak to the mind flayers. They'll tell me more. What mind flayers? I'm kidding. All right. So I, I look around, and uh, I'm supposed to be horrified. I'd be like, right, damn. Okay. Um, I look around and go, huh? Huh? Did I do that? Y- y- a voice from behind you. Yeah. Did you did. That? And what the fuck was that? You, you turn around and it's the boss just straight up standing there like, Hi, what the fuck? Hi, Shut up. What the fuck was that? I don't know. And this does not concern you? Oh, it does. Good. Really great. By the way, I was just arrested. And behind it, you just see like a full on 
army of guards behind him. Like, we all kind of were. So great job. Who the fuck let this out? <laughs> oh, Am I disguised as the mage? <laughs> no. I mean, I can no. keep the spell up. I don't know if he's out of rage yet. No, he, it, it, it's kind of faded at this moment, and he's just like, what the fuck did you say? Do oh, that. What the fuck? I don't know what you're talking about. I didn't say anything. Why are the guards here? What is going on? What the fuck just happened? Okay. We just had a big fight. You don't think the gods would show up? I went into a rage, and now I'm standing here, and Bebop is in front of me asking me what the fuck I did, and he's in, he's in shackles. We'll what talk is about that later. Why am I out of the loop oh, of this? Oh, don't worry there, but a guard walks up. You can tell he's a captain. Our friends let us know what was going down. We've already moved on a few other places. This was just the biggest one. The, this Warforged fucker is under arrest for conspiring with the hired hands. Don't worry. Everything's under control. We've just decided to move faster with this to put Tylon on the back foot and make him desperate. Because desperate men make bad decisions. So don't worry there, bud. This is all part of the plan. The boss looks at you and goes, You fuckers were in on this? I'm just going to look at Axel. I'm not sure what you're talking about. Oh, your friend at the church didn't tell you he was maybe going to do this? I don't have a friend at the church. I'm sorry. Okay, but just don't. I'm, stop, I stop. I'm on the ground right now. <laughs> just stop. I'm going to walk over to Einkel and help him up. <laughs> Einkel, what knocked you the fuck over? You did, Kahal. You, oh. You were out of control. You killed the man that we're supposed to keep alive. No, we kept one. We, we, well, we meant to keep the leader alive. Were we supposed to keep the leader alive? Axel, Axel? Was, Axel was there. Yeah, we were supposed to keep the leader alive. Whoops. Sorry, boss, but you didn't pay your taxes. <laughs> it. <laughs> God damn it, I am about to make just. It looks like he's straight up about to blow a gasket. <laughs> <laughs> Literally. I feel bad, and I should feel bad. Bebop, I could, I mean, technically I could take your body and I can, you know, take your head and then we can talk about... The SHUT body. THE FUCK UP! <laughs> you you kind of just see Doug walk up. Uh, what? it, Captain, sir. What's he under arrest for? Like, I mean, we kind of did y'all a favor here by taking these guys out. So, what? Uh, hey, Doug. I'll let you in on this. The reason your boss with head was kidnapped is because he was dealing with the people who kidnapped him. Okay. I'm going to need you to say that again. Boss was working with the hand. The hand got mad at him for some reason. They took his head. He decided to bite the hand that was feeding him. <laughs> like I bit off that guy's head. You just see Doug slowly turn to his boss. It's true. He goes, yeah, what of it? Bear in mind, the entire guard's listening to this, so he just admitted to it. Full on. Confession. Got it. <laughs> He's so angry, he doesn't even really give a fuck anymore. And now Doug is even more furious, and he just launches into the boss with the fury of a minimum wage worker screaming at a Karen. <laughs> no, Doug, don't do it. <laughs> no, it, it, the, the thing is, the you can see the guard and the rest of the Warforge just kind of looking at it going... <laughs> Again, just imagine a, a worker at McDonald's just screaming at a Karen. And just 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 imagine the sheer pleasure you'd get from that. That's all what you're feeling right now. Doug, wait, save the head for me. He can he can he cannot hear you. Oh, 
He cannot hear. He 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 is in the rage you were, except it's at his boss that he's worked with for years and been shot on for years. This is a lot of pent up rage, dude. So trust me, just just send every... me a part of the head because I want to wear it on my side. Oh no, the guard the guard are taking care of him. So I want, the head. I want part of the head. Mm. You can't get all your heads. Okay. Yeah, you already ate one, so don't worry about it. <laughs> You're ahead of the game. Yes. So fi finally, to just get things to calm down, the guard finally just take the boss away, and he's he, he he's going with his tail in between his legs. He's beaten thoroughly by Doug, and he he he's talking. He's like, "I had no idea we know this Doug. was happening." And no, I. <sighs> no, we know you had no idea. I am so sorry. I just for for everything. I am sorry. I know I know it doesn't mean anything, but I. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't know what he promised you. I, I don't, but I will do what I can to help you. This was not the way this was supposed to go. I, I'll do what I can to help you. We appreciate it, though. You're a good man. This being said, I don't think the war, our caravan can go... So long as the hired hands are still here. The captain just goes, Yeah, that's true, bud. So we're gonna need to work with the guard here to bring these fuckers down. Yeah, that's true, bud. That was the plan. As I lick my the, the blood off my axe. The the guard look the guard captain looks at you and just like Are all of your kind like to you, bud? Yeah. Just you can tell the guard are, they were apprehensive of you before. They are really apprehensive now. Well, I had to make sure it's from that guy. Yeah, it's from that guy. I killed him. Bud, stop talking. Just, uh -oh. just, just, just. Can someone just fill me in here on what the fuck happened? After you okay. slaughtered everything. You the ate Warforged didn't people. Kill. He's not like in this part of the fight. not the way you did. Like I've seen fights, and you weren't fighting. You were you were a monster, bud. Mm -hmm. And not not in any good way, bud. Not in any good way at all. Oh, and by the way, I forgot to do this. Oh, yeah, I forgot to tell you. My eyes, when I go into this type of rage where it's not controllable, my eyes glow red. So, yeah, I've told you this, but the rest of the parties, if you want to chime in about it. Like, I've raged before all the time. I'm a, I'm a barbarian. That's my ability. What happened? What? Oh, I don't know. Yeah, switch the cameras. Yeah, I switched cameras. We got to switch cameras. <laughs> oh, well. Such as it is. So what happened? You tell us, bud. I just told you what you did. I walked in, I went to rage, and then everything is right where I'm at, basically. With, well, Bebop and Manacles pissed off before Doug decided to clobber him. Well, I mean... You... You were a monster, but no two ways about it. Interesting. Anyway, um, before we have this full um, conversation there, bud, um, we're going to get to looking around this warehouse, see if we can find anything. You want to help? Um, I don't think I can really tell you no. So we're going to start looking around. You're more than welcome. Uh, we were going to anyway. So if you want to help, um. What do you cool. need? Uh, look around, bud. I mean, See if you can find anything. I'll look around for evidence. Yeah. I'm just trying I'm not get to kill any more people right now. I'm going to sniff around, search around. All, All right, search. why don't you, uh, why don't you take a knee? Have a water. I do have an explorer pack, so I'm probably 
I'm gonna rinse out my mouth and spit the blood out. Not that I know it's from the the uh, everything. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so you guys looking around? Yeah, yeah, looking around. Investigation checks now. Eight, twenty-one. What checks? Twenty-one. <laughs> Shut up. What checks? Investigation. Investigation. Twenty-one. Fifteen. Eight. Okay. Oh, actually. Nine. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Okay. Eight, so. Ten. Okay, ten. So, you find, specifically here, you find a letter in one of the rooms off to the side from Tylon himself stating that he actually <coughs> was not out of town, but rather he was just meeting people in his own bunker. He just wanted to say he was out of town to throw him off. And he says where his bunker is. That's convenient. Dumbass. <laughs> What's convenient? Check this thing out. So the guard, he the handed to the speaks. captain of the guard, yeah. and you're, he just kind of goes white in the face, and you know, it also says where the bunker is, and he just turns everyone like, every available one, let's go. What do I find, though? You, you find the same thing, largely. So basically just more notes to give him his whereabouts? Where he is currently, yeah. Or when he was writing this letter. Okay. So the guard start every available guard just who isn't apprehending someone just immediately starts running. Just sprinting across. And going to where the bunker is. Do they want him alive or dead? All I found is dust bunnies. They just want him currently. Alive, dead, doesn't matter. They just, they think they know where Tylon is. They want him. Should we follow? It's up to you. Yeah, let's follow him. Uh, let's take five and then we'll follow him. Short rest. Yeah. Mm -mm. Alright, I'm going. Let's take go a then. short rest. Alright, let's go. Let's we'll go take then. a short rest when we get there. Yeah. Well, our works out. It's not like we can't, you know, put the I don't, siege. I don't want to rage again. But then if don't. I do, How about this, Kyle Hell? We'll keep you with us in the back, and if we need you, you'll be our trump card. I would just put me in the front and stand back and tell the guards to stay away. If they want this guy dead and everyone there dead, then we probably would have That doesn't. You, your rage ability is not guaranteed your survival. And it's a, um, with you wilding out, you can also put others in danger, too. That's why I said keep everyone away. But it's up to the guards. Let's go. I was standing next to you. I was fine. <laughs> <laughs> you were? What happened? Okay, I guess whatever. Then you okay. ran away from me. Don't don't away from you? don't let your arrogance. You are running away from me too, somebody else. But and then he ran towards me when he thought I was not friendly. Anyway, <laughs> so you're everyone's spraying across town. I mean, they're the village people are just like, what the fuck is going on? Because it's a pretty large group of guards just straight up bolting the across town. Hmm? The village people. Shut up. <laughs> I was just thinking that. The townsfolk. <laughs> it's fun to stand. <laughs> You're asking for another goose right now. <laughs> I'm ready with it. Go ahead. Test me, bitch. No. Don't do that. <laughs> oh, okay. So, in, instead of, like, the east part of town where all the shit is, it's actually going more towards the upper west, which is a fairly nicer part of town, which you'd never think that a boss would, the gang boss would be at, but, you know, politicians live in nice houses too, so here we are. Um, and you pass through, everyone's still just like, what the fuck is going down? And they get to kind of the outskirts of town. There are some ruined buildings at the edge of it. And there's just this one with a door kind of haphazardly hidden. You wouldn't see it unless you noticed it. It's got some cloth over it, kind of semi-buried with sand. And the captain gets there, rips off the uh, the cloth, and just kicks down the door and goes down. And a few, as many guards as they can file underneath it, but all you hear from the guard is a, God damn it! And he just 
comes out a few moments later, you're all out of breath because, you know, you just fought and ran all the way across the city. Hmm. Captain just looks at you and goes, he ain't here. No, Must have heard of our raid and bolted. Maybe, but... Where? We don't know. Maybe he doesn't know we know about this place. Or maybe is he... Probably he does, otherwise he'd be here. Or maybe he's hiding someplace that you haven't looked in there yet. Might be a hidden place. Hidden... I doubt he's here. Go take a look. Tell me why. I think that. I'm going to look and... Uh... So, you go down and it's a fairly sparse bunker. There's papers scattered around everywhere. There's a half-made bed in the corner. Um, it, there's not really many places to hide. But you notice on the wall directly opposite the door painted is just the words his hands will rise higher. Mm. I will... I'm going to I want to examine the walls to see if there's anything that could be in Okay. This. Investigation check. Uh, let's see. So that goes for one one again. There is straight up nothing there. Huh. All right. So there's nothing behind the wall, there's nothing on the wall. That's it, his hands will rise. That's it. And there's no footprints or anything, because the desert sands have just been blowing everywhere, so there's no trace. His hands will rise. His hands will rise higher. Higher. You lot wouldn't be able to tell me there, buds, who his is. Would ya? Can't give you a name. <sighs> Shit. Well, this tells us one thing. Everything he was planning just went tits up. Which means he'll start acting desperately and irrationally. Which helps us. Though, also means a lot of us are in danger now. Which is great. Just great there, buds. <sighs> All right. You four have done... You've done more than enough. We'll take care of what we can take care of here and find out what we can. Especially at the other places. All his other routes are cut off. He won't be getting out so soon. Go get some rest and just let us do our job for the time being. Just... Okay. Just go. Just go. Let's go back to the village. Good, uh, let's go. All right, we'll go back to the village. I need to talk to the elder about what just happened. <laughs> I need to talk to the elder about what happened. He's a therapist, too. <laughs> yeah, all, all three of you are feeling really apprehensive towards him. Like, you, as you're walking back, normally you're kind of in a tightish group. Yeah, you're kind you're a distance, distance away. Yes. You are not a hundred percent comfortable with him anymore. Especially you. Like you've never There's seen this never before heard. and you are not sure about what the fuck happened. You're not even sure that's the Kahal you do anymore. <laughs> to be I mean, fair, Guru do fight like that though. Not like oh, that. Jesus. Not like that. Never like that. Like he's he's seen Guru fight. That was something else. Can I be not scared of it? No, you... you <laughs> okay, you're not scared of it, but you are very cautious of it. I'm going to keep him as close as possible. No, you I'm are a not. a really good friend. Maybe he won't bite my head off. <laughs> you're the guy buying the quiet person the candy bar. <laughs> I just pet the little chihuahua on the head. I'm a jackal. <laughs> <sighs> and I'm just going to be walking behind. Yeah. You know, if I could do a little bit of everything, I'd be a jack of all trades. <laughs> How much health do you have, real quick? pun detected. <laughs> okay, go ahead and take 10 psychic damage for what everything you just saw. <laughs> and yes, lethal. <laughs> I hate you so Can we much. Take a short rest. 
take a short rest <laughs> now. Yeah. I mean, you're basically at camp now, so you can go rest up and get shit faced after everything you just saw. Yeah. I'll take a long rest. Y'all deserve it. Hey, that means I get back, back my action search. <laughs> Get back my key, my head, yep. my get back uh, everything. Yeah. Well, I get back everything on short rest, but. Yep, because Warlock. Mm, basically. Okay. Warlock needs their spells back. Everybody take five. <laughs> oh, yeah, by the way, um, you guys won't be able to take short or long rests unless it's in an area I say is safe. Okay. So. You, oh, you want to take. Sleep you, enemies nearby. You, wanna, you want to take a short rest in a dungeon? Nope. <laughs> yeah. You want to take a short rest in the middle of an enemy infested forest? Nope. Oh. You want to take a short rest on the side of a mountain that's covered with rocks? Nope. What about the middle of the desert? There's no enemies here. Nope. You take them when I say it's safe to take them. If that's a problem. It's sorry. The, it's the, uh, the Bethesda, you can't sleep right now. <laughs> yeah. Right, because rests are kind of broken if you can take them everywhere. Right. <laughs> Anywho, on that bombshell, that is where we will conclude tonight's session. Uh, Th so, thanks everyone for tuning in. We are back on schedule for the time being. Um, should be back next Sunday, 7 p.m. Eastern. Same group, yeah. same bat time, same bat place. And until then, as always, skull and be well. Bizarre.